Okay. Fiel, are you ready? ready. Merritt, are you ready? Okay. Kane, are you ready? Yeah. Daedric, are you ready? As I'll ever be. Angelo, are you ready? Yahoo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last time on. Who's the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lots of stuff happened. You did a lot of stuff. We played for like a long time. Uh, last week, when we ended, we had just met what Rictavio told you was Drusilla, who may or may not be his horse that he feeds apples to every day. And he was just finishing conversation, I think, with Kane when we ended. So yeah. it is. Probably mid more like ten in the morning, maybe. I don't know. Um, and Rictavio is petting yeah. his horse. Well, we were we moved away from the horse. We went to the uh, to the um, the circus cart. No, we did not. No, you didn't. But you can if you want to. We ended it with the horse and Rictavio saying, oh, "Tis, tis." Right. Yeah. Right. He said, "Don't go there." Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought we were there. And you can like, go there if you want. There? And then he got angry. No. But nope. We, we were still at the stables. Go there and mm -hmm. I asked, yes. what's in the circus cart? And then and he, he said, got, stay away from it. Yeah. Yep. Then he got cranky. But. So what was our what was our lead on um, music? Uh, we will see him tomorrow at the festival is our current lead. And we don't know where he is right now? He's somewhere in town on a mission is what we know. But no one's seen him. They just know. We learned that he's in town on a mission, and that's all we know. Uh, okay. Talking to Danica or Irwin, I think it was you when she pulled you back. I think she said her birds saw him go in the mansion a few days ago and haven't seen him yet. Yeah, leave. that is true. That is true. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So, um, um... Okay. Do we have any other leads that would directly connect to Arena. Uh, yeah, I believe we're going to the uh, Wachter's house, the uh, lady who hates the mayor. Yeah, I think that She's is... She's a uh, crazy cat leader. Cat lady whose daughter name... Mixed, mixed messages about the name, but I believe it's... Also, I did Stella. go... I did go back and listen. I don't know where you got Tom. Tom and Sally. Or Sally. Because neither of those were said. That is so weird that I... I don't know why. That Unless really it was weird. said, like, in another part of the session that I just missed, when we first were discussing that, that's not that what so anybody weird. said. It's just so very I'm, funny to me. I should not be the one in charge of the notes, but I am. Um, so, still up. And I believe... Being a note taker is hard. It's deceptively difficult. It's also... Yeah. It's what we got. You know, it's honestly like... I honestly kind of like that I fuck stuff up sometimes because, like, I don't know, to not to be met too meta about it, but, like, Merit probably doesn't remember half sure. the shit that she writes out. Sure. Like, yeah, Stella, Sally. 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 <laughs> Sally. Uh, Stella <laughs> may or may not be missing. Right. Didn't they have something about that? Right. We thought she was one of the cats. Right. Well, we think she might be the cat that yeah. old evil boy was fucking around with. And possibly... Did we ever say that out loud, or was that just like a group conscious thing? So wait, Walker's child might be the cat... What are you guys talking about? Is this out loud? Ricky! <laughs> yeah. You still have feet of my horse? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Rick. Listen. Yeah, we're, we're trying to... Seems like up. you have a story to tell me. You guys got a story to tell me? What's well, going yeah, on? but then we're I meant... You should go home. You're probably... <laughs> Back to wherever you're from. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the fog out there? I wish I could. All right. Ooh. I really just meant anywhere but here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait you wait, you wait. followed me! Wait, you're from outside the fog? I said I'm from far away, didn't well, that I? I mean, up the goddamn street, you're a pretty, um, what's the word? Uh, you're a pretty exaggerative kind of fellow. Oh, Look at thank you. you. We're not stuck in here with Look him. Look at me. He's not stuck in here with us. So we're stuck in here with him. So why haven't you ever left? I like that. Why haven't you ever left? I'm on a mission to spread my stories. Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. That's yeah. cool. Okay. Alright, shall we, um, we're gonna walk and talk. Ricky, we'll Have see you later, tried mate. to leave? Hold on. Have you oh. ever tried to leave? It's really exhausting, actually, yeah. You, you have tried to leave. Yeah, just walk back into the fog. 
turns you right back around, spits you out. You stay in the fog, you get tired. Damn, that sucks. You come out of the fog, and you're not so tired. You guys didn't know, you got, okay, so wait, so clearly y'all are not from here. Yeah. And you came in the fog. Yep. And you didn't try and leave? We've been here for literally, like, two days. So it's actually a very funny uh, story, but we actually just accepted our fate immediately and decided to stay. I knew I liked you guys for some reason. <laughs> well, I, I can't speak for Angelo. Angelo, did we talk about this already? Have you tried to leave? Uh, yes. I, I had tried to leave. It, yeah. it feels a lot like, uh... Being very, very slowly, uh, kind of like you're being spun in a circle, and mm. it's not so bad at first, it's a little weird, and then you get to a point where your tummy starts to hurt. And then you get tired! You get really well, tired, yeah. Yeah, I think we did. And you get, like, snow blind, you know? Mm. So you have to just come back out and yeah, accept your fate. You get snow blind once you come back. Never mind. No, <laughs> I don't know. You don't seem like a snowy type of guy. You'd be surprised. Alright. Ash. Is mistaken for snow quite often. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right, um, Rick. We'll see you later, mate. Okay. Um, gotta go chase down some cats. Ooh. Yeah. Like tigers. Like I we were talking about wish, last mate. time. I fucking wish. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. We find one. Uh. Would it be anywhere? Never mind. No. Let's okay. Go. Let's just go. Let's yeah, just go. We need to fucking to go. Tell, we're supposed to tell Walker. To stay away, keep her kids away from the, uh... From your cot. Yeah, I don't know much about the walk this except for the, her sons keep fucking around my, my wagon. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. Know. What's so you know, I did hear a story about a tiger once, and she fell in love with this panda, and they were like, they could do the, no. they were monks. I don't know why they did it. Don't make Kung Fu Panda <laughs> canon, please. Kung Fu what? Oh, maybe, uh, it, maybe it was a bugbear. I don't know what a panda is. <laughs> oh. I, I, I need to go. I'm getting anxious. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so long. Do you know? Are you talking to old Rictavio? Yeah. Yeah, I've got one in my uh, carnival wagon. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> As Elena, Woo! do we we got an idea of where we're going? No. no. Were we point? I thought you asked. You're supposed to ask Danny where the walkers lived. Oh yeah, we know where that is. If that's what that's we right. yeah, that's you did. Yeah, yeah, you asked Danica. All right, and, and she to like the told you where it was. All right, let's go there. Then. Uh, what's the plan there? Walk to the house. I think we go. We're like, hey, we need a town. Let me see our friend. We're just going door to door because it's not a lie. We are going door to door. See what she says. Take from there. Just very specifically from the door to the barons to her house. Right. So we just walk up and knock on the door? Yeah. All right. I think that's the right I'll word. take the lead. Well, I was actually going to suggest that the lich go anywhere. <laughs> just because she might be a grieving mother. And I'm not sure you're what? so keen on... Grieving how? Her kid is missing. I'm pretty sure. I, my notes are all kind of something, but... <laughs> I got somewhere that uh, that idea in my head. We had we had the idea that the girl from the real notebook that we got that got turned into a cat is the daughter of this Walker family. For some reason, oh, maybe I just did my idea, but I swore for some reason we thought because the Walkers like Lady Walker is known for being. Obsessed with cats, like the crazy cat oh. lady in town. In fact, for some reason, I thought there was something about could her daughter. Be, could it be that she thinks that one of the cats is her daughter, but she doesn't know which cat is her daughter, so she just no, keeps all of the cats? No, I think it's Claire. different. Exactly. No, I think it's different than that. Right? I think it's um something else. But we'll find out when we get there. We just ask. There we go. Have you seen our arena? She says no. We say great. And then we fuck around and find out. <laughs> Sounds like good enough as any other plan we're going to get. I don't think we're going to make any progress till tomorrow, so we might as well just... Uh, Angelo, have you met the Walkers before? You've been in town a bit. I, I don't believe I have, no. Damn. Well, a uh, bit of backstory. So the Walkers are known as the, like, 
well, I don't think it's very official feud, but very like, if you know, you know, kind of the anti burgomaster faction of town. They don't, they're not, they're, she doesn't like him. Um, we don't really know why, but she's just pretty vocal against the big guy. So best not to bring him up, nor the whole yesterday situation. Um, especially that we said we'd help him. I definitely don't think we should bring that up for the fiscal. This is a record. And yeah, I believe I'd heard a rumor of the uh, the walkers being uh, especially anti burgermaster. Um, but I, I didn't know any details on regarding the matter. Alright. Anything else we shouldn't talk about? Because I think that's even more important than things we should. Probably, obviously, not the you know what situation. Um, is that the only one off limits that we can think about? Yeah. Probably. Knowing me. Yeah, that's probably on limits. Yeah. Knowing me, I will probably find the thing that is off limits to talk about. We well, just gotta start talking. Where are no, you guys? We're walking, walking towards, towards the walker. Danica told us the hmm. walkers live. Okay. And, um, yeah, Deidre, mate. Remember that thing I gave you earlier about an hour or two ago? Can I have everybody's passive yeah. perception? I'm gonna pull it out. Right, where well, there's gonna be a lot of cats where we're going, mate, and I'm really gonna need you to use that because I really can't have you killing potential uh, friends' as cats. Passive perception. So just for me, think about it. You mm -hmm. know. Sixteen. Hold on, I just Sorry, I had it written down on a different book. <laughs> Uh, Daedric and Angelo, what are your passive perceptions? Yeah. My passive perception? Yes. Is... 14. And Angelo? Uh, 15. Okay. I'll tell you You're good. Alright, walking? Yeah. So you walk, you start walking uh, through town. Um, you do have to pass through the shopping district. Um, so if you guys are interested in stopping, feel free. Uh, otherwise, you just pass right through. Uh, I will think about that, and then we can make a trip back. Yeah, on the way back, I might need something, but I need to think about what it would be exactly to exactly to specify that I need to purchase. Um, I think we're good for that. Yeah, I'm good. I don't need shit. Actually, I do need shit. What do you need? I'm gonna look around for a diamond somewhere. You think anybody sells diamonds in this town? Probably, right? People like jewelry. Uh, they're pretty stuck in. I don't know if there's any like mines or anything around here, but you know they can't leave it. Come in. So there's not a lot of imports, probably. I bet the Vistana got something if we find that. Yeah, probably. If we you want to look, you today. may make an investigation check. For town that sell a... Do we want to look around right now, or we do want to do? How that do you know right? your passive perception? Oh, no. oh, it does. It does. I really 13. do not think we have time to stop for jewelry shopping. Alright. Alright. On the way back. We'll hit it on the way back. Hey, Mal. Yes? How much did Pearson say the glass great sword cost? The glass great sword is 500 gold pieces. Gotcha. And the flame and tongue the is 5,500. Okay. And what was the other one called? Flame tongue. Um, what, are you, what, what were you looking forward to while we're at it? Uh, 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 you, uh, uh, Phil? Um, an opal, right? Ah, yeah, I, I could use an opal. I could use a number of things, actually. I've been learning a lot about runes since I left my home. Cool, 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 cool. And is that like a, is that like a, like a component or something? An opal? Can you cast spells? I can't, can't, can't quite get a read on this rune magic thing. You it's... did as a reaction, didn't you? When we fought Victor? Yeah, it's weird. It's spelled like, but it's not quite it's spelled. Reminiscent. Um, Here, open some... this to page 55. Some would believe it to be more or less the foundation of what um, I love that you pages numbered of the pages. day um, <laughs> use. Oh, that's a in, in, in game game heavy. <laughs> That's why I need a diamond. <sighs> Come on, you're training our car. You can read that. <laughs> Um, I understand the base roots. You need diamond to to heal. 
someone? Yeah, that's close enough. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Fucking um, sick, buddy. Right? Evocation can go out. Would have been great about no. a day ago, Mike. Evocation can go out. I know. Fucking insane. Why do you think I put so much effort into it last night? Did not sleep much, but I figured what, it out. Would you be interested in rolling a perception or in investigation check right, right now? Or, or I right say now. we don't need to look around right now. I on think the way we back? can. We Shopping can on the way back. Let's? Yeah. On the way back. I've seen you perform healing magics before. Right, I, I, right. And it wasn't a huge jump, but the, the the tricky part is when the the target is not necessarily alive. Oh. Yeah. He's not going that from Yeah, the so, so, so when you're alive, there's a lot of energy to draw on and to build upon, and that's where restorative evocation can kind of come into place. Stop me if I'm boring you. But, um, but... What? You literally just listening to you. Okay. <laughs> it's a weird look. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, when the when when the person is already you know like like you know when a person <laughs> then then it becomes harder and I think but I think based on some theory that I was able to work through last night. Um, thank you, Angelo. Um, you really helped with that process. Um, I I think. There's like a small window in which case you could like grab a little bit of that of that just waning energy from a, a, a dying soul and just reignite it. It's like there's like a pilot light there, and you just gotta like put a bunch of kindling on it, and it takes a lot of energy, and it generally needs a focus, or else it's just gonna scatter and not go anywhere. That focus is carbon, but really compressed and hot carbon. We call it diamonds. Sick, actually. Uh, Bingo. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we'll we'll keep an eye out. Cool. Let's go talk it's to really it. Just a theory. I don't even know if it'll work, but I'm willing to try it if you're willing to die. So you you yeah, you the walk one on the street. Well, oh, you right. walk through the shopping district. Uh, east of town, and then right before you get to like the entrance of the stockyards, you like go south. And this, like, road leads off towards a mansion, which is not the Burgermaster's mansion. So you assume this is the Wachter house, if you would like to I assume that's the Wachter's house. It's just about to say the same thing. I also assume this. Well, Daedric, you should take the lead, do all the talking as per usual. Uh, Angelo, sit back and watch Daedric, this man work. Daedric has a very specific <laughs> job today. Which is not kill a single feline. That's his very specific job for the c Mal next hour. Merit. Mallory, can I open this? Yeah, you bring me an orange. Us, orange one. I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> You're the only one here I trust. <laughs> and that's saying a lot. Um, hey, I'm hey, fine. I don't know about you guys, but I trust the shit out of Angelo. Yeah, uh, I do. I just don't know what you're like talking to. He was great talking to me last night. Yeah, I don't trust Angelo even the slightest. Angelo, don't it's, worry. Uh, he he's he uh, he'll come around. I will come around. Yeah, it's just been right. a minute. I, I get it. He broke a dome last I've night. I've known these guys for three days. I've only known you for one. All right, it's very different. <laughs> we slept in a it, bubble. That makes sense to me. You cuddle, I don't right. All right, listen, I think we can tag team it, but I think you might have a bit more, um, you just need to put a bit more, um, warmth in your voice. Sometimes. From time to time. I can work on that. It's the chair I'm Not in general. Maybe just in these kinds of ways we're talking to maybe somebody who's like a grieving mother, perhaps. We don't actually know that for sure, but in case she is, you could have some perspective there, no offense. But also, just in general, like a... Hey, how you doing? We're just going bouncing around town to town, making seem real casual. Have, Everything you say sounds so serious. I have, I have a question. Yeah? If Macy's Walker is suspicious of foul play, do we show our hand? No. Absolutely not. Why do you mean foul play? Suspicious of what foul play? Why would we if... Her daughter going missing. If she is suspicious of oh. this being, Lord. you know, I think we just play the that effect really. of some fucking teenage piece of poop. 
No, I, I don't think we – I mean, I, I agree with what Merritt said in that I think we just play the Irina card. And if she brings up, I think somebody stole my daughter, we'd be like, we also have a female missing friend. And 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 then we let the, the pieces roll with that. But that's just me. That, that seems like a pretty good idea. That seems natural, relatable. Make, makes sense. Hey, that's me, baby. How about the initial? Relatable. I'll make the initial reaction, and then when I inevitably can't answer any of the questions she's saying because I've forgotten something, you step in. Roger. Great. Um, is it the big one? Who's then? Roger? Is it the big one, then? DM. DM. Oh. Oh, is it the course. big one? The big what? <laughs> House. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. Is there any kids running about? Make a perception check. <laughs> what was that? 13. Plus your perception of 4. Is it 4? I don't think I so. I thought you said it was, you thought you said you had a 14 on your passive perception. 13. So. Oh, well then. So 16 target off. Um, no <laughs> children running around. Uh, the grounds seem kind of barren. Um, actually towards your entrance, I'm going to. Towards your entrance you do see like a, a, a garden, um, and depending on what time of year it is, you don't know, but nothing seems to be blooming. Um, but as you approach this house, what was it's that? Me, it's me, it's oh. me. He lives. I just wanted to see Brian's face. This house <laughs> just, it seems really disgusted with itself. Um, a slouching roof hangs heavy over furrowed gables and moss covered walls kind of sag and bulge under the weight of the vegetation. As you study the house's sullen countenance, you hear the edifice actually groan. Like, you could just hear the house go... That's natural and relatable. Only then <laughs> do you realize yeah, agree, yes. the extent to which the house hates what it has become. Dude, it's like Monster House. That movie traumatized me as a child. Picture the Monster <laughs> House, but like that slightly an bigger. Movie. It's a good movie. movie. Scared so me. It did scare me. I saw it for the first time at the fucking drive-in, and I was... Oh, oh, scary movie. Um, yeah. So, th actually, think of that house, but, like, maybe a little wider. Still two mm -hmm. stories. Um, but then as you approach... I can't picture that house without picturing it, just going... Hit it right with the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's just two pretty large double front doors. Um, all right, I guess... Um, Merritt's men and uh, Angelo as a soon to be qualified a qualifying process member. He's in, man. We need I'm married to either side. Who's my men? That's fair. I. Are men not gonna say, are we not unionized? Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> uh, we don't even know. Just fucking. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go up and I'm going to uh, listen as I walk up to the door to see if anyone's like, if I hear any like you know, kid noises throughout the house. While she's noisy. walking up there and trying to listen, I am saying, I am saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we need to rebrand. We're like Merritt and her comrades. We really are like one group. Like I really um, think we need unionization here. Can I look around for cats? You yes, Daedric, make a perception <laughs> check with your perception roll, Merritt, and his distraction. You don't really hear a lot coming from inside the house. Um, like really at all. There are lights on. You think people are home, yeah. uh, but you don't really hear anything. No, no. kids. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um. You. Don't see any cats, but as you approach the front steps, because there's a few steps, you like look over the railing and there's like a little bit of cat poop. Like on the floor, on the ground. I'm gonna start start using the, the distraction. Okay, okay. Uh Dead. you knock? Yeah. Okay. Was there like a front gate? Uh, there was, but it wasn't shut. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fiel would have left his long, like, the fucking giant-sized greatsword at the front gate. Okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> if you he still has his bearded axe and his bow, but he would have left the big-ass sword up at the front Okay, so can you guys see okay? On roll 20? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not looking. Give me one yes. second. I'm looking at the spell. Okay, so you see the I gardens. See, I see over oh, here. Cool. Yeah, so that's how you guys came in. You came in, uh... uh Oh, it's all one man. Oh, yeah, it sucks. Good call. I can't ping. 
Mm, for whatever we reason, uh, make sure you're in the selection. I got it. Did you see me ping? I think also, I memory, I think it will shift the ping. Last time. It will bring all of our attention to where you should nope, that's just right. pinged. Okay, so here's my ping. So you came in this way. Here's the front door. Beep. Also, cat poo poo. Catching mm. dragons. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, my laptop. Is that yours or mine? Mine's that's mine. That's okay, mine. Okay. I was like, sometimes no she struggles. Mine does. Too. Okay. It just <laughs> <laughs> she strove <laughs> the Okay, so yeah. you approach the front door. Do you mind if we throw your character pieces in? Go ahead, throw your character pieces in. Feel free. Um, you knock, and then you, after a f after like a minute, you hear like a healed click kind of approach, and a window slat in the door kind of. And I'm just like this, like politely looking as my politest um, self. Can I see you? What? I'm small. <laughs> I'm three feet tall. I'm not fucking invisible. Does Hello. Have a, uh, I'm trying. Jumping? I'm trying. Go, go Hold on, I need to download Key his shut, piece I again. I, swapped it. I tried to put it last time, and I and I. I'm I'm getting it. Go to journal. Go to add character. Yep. I also updated it. I did not make this. <laughs> So no, it's really epic. Epic. Dude, spoilers. There's a couch <laughs> in that room. I can stop. See. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, stop. You, can, you saw it through the window. So, so DM doesn't even use polygon reveal tools. <laughs> oh my god, they got, they got rugs. There he is. You don't know. You guys see him? I did because I did this. <laughs> Do we see him? Oh, show to players. How do I hold on? How do I make it available for everyone? Yeah, so if you um, there, when you can be edited, you can go pop out. You can edit by all and do in all, so we can all control. All players got it. Push it to the side. All players got it. And you need to also put it in the journals. Those are two separate. Two separate journals. I got it. This. Perfect. I've got him. Okay. Three. Angela, That's inappropriate. You are at it. Oh, 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 Sorry, it took me a second. It's me, Mario. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna like you know do um, just like standing there, very door to door salesman, looking like not smiling, but not not smiling. You're smiling. What are you here for? What? What are you here for? Oh, um, hello. My name is Merritt. These are my men. Um, we're just going door to door. To, um, we've lost a friend, and I want to know if anyone's seen her. That's all. I'm sorry to take a moment of your time, just needing to, um, uh, some, we've lost someone. She shuts the thing. You hear a... And the door opens. <laughs> you see in front of you a, a young maid. Uh, hello. Uh, again, my name's Merritt, and I'll stick my hand up. Oh. She shakes it. Human. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, like I said, these are my men. Please, um, don't, uh, be, um, afraid of anything. We're just going to the door. We've lost a friend, um, also human, named Irina. I'm not sure if you're familiar. She's, uh, and I just heard what she looks like. Okay. And, um, honestly, we lost, uh, she's going on 48 hours, so I know that's, um, not a good timeline for missing people, but... We're just kind of honestly going and seeing folks around town and wondered if the Walker family knew anything of her arrival or disappearance. You are here for Walker, lady? Uh, yes, that would be. Um, if you're not her yourself, then yes. That would be. I am mid. Okay. Are yes. you here for yes, Miss Fiona, lady Walker? That'd be my preference, yes. Uh... Okay. She... Let's you come in. Oh, thank you very much. Um, may my men come with me, or is this um you're only comfortable with me? Whatever you uh, um, find appropriate. You may enter. Do not touch anything. Okay, guys, uh, you're allowed to touch. No touching anything, but um, follow in. Come mm -hmm. in. You are not here for the book club. No, actually, yeah, most of us can't. Most of the men can't read. Book that is in book club. Can you wait? Well, Absolutely, yeah, we all do uh, some waiting. I, I've got a book and Angela holds up his back. I also have a... Never mind. <laughs> not not the book. No. They are no probably, I would read. guess probably not. I think it's uh, only like 30 shades, not 50. But oh my goodness. Have a different club. They are of. done in maybe half an hour. We wouldn't want to wait down here for that long, you know, that's... Yeah. I will let you in, house. Why not? 
You can wait. Sitting around for 30 minutes. Yeah, why are not? they accepting new additions? No, hold on. No. Hold on. We don't need to do it. I'm just talking. All right. Let him, he can breathe. It's okay wait, that you wait, can't mom. read, but don't you extend it. Yes. I, you're right. I got upset. Mom, please. Because of my illiteracy. I don't need to intrude, but <laughs> right. would, you, would you let me and my friends here join the book club and uh, no. animal will cast suggestion? Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, she's got to beat uh, Wisdom Save 16. Okay, hold on. Let me get her stats. Do they have yeah, the main stats? Distract her and aid awesome. in she's some way. Okay, cool. Uh, not, I don't think it's a check like that, unfortunately. Yeah, it is indeed not. Right. Okay, so what am I saving? It is a wisdom saving throw. DC 16. Gotta, gotta beat a 16. Oh, God. Okay, so you, you say this, and with a very small flourish of your hand, um, she kind of blinks quickly. Oh. Uh. Yes. Maybe there is opening. Uh, follow. Cool. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as we enter the doors, <laughs> Angela kind of bounces a little bit, holding his staff both hands. I want to scan around and see if they have any uh, diamonds on display, like precious jewels uh, of any kind, <laughs> just sitting around on display somewhere. Okay. Um. So oh, no, I'll keep that in mind. Go ahead and roll yeah, perception. Could dazzle. Could dazzle. Could be a nice uh, uh, ten. Okay. Not great. <laughs> no big deal. I'm gonna be letting loose on some cats here in a minute. <laughs> no, no. So she lets you in. Um, the front door and, and vestibule. Um, the front door opens into a narrow vestibule. I think that's how you vestibule. Yeah. How do you say that? Sure. Uh, three stained glass doors and wooden frames lead from it. So it's just this small room. Um, there are two closets. I don't. You can't see the doors because I didn't. Or, or, well, you don't know their closets, but two doors right here, you assume to be small broom closets or they something. They don't look like they would go anywhere. They do, yeah, they're small doors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Is this the size of the room? Uh, for now, okay. she was gonna, she just keeps walking, though. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, this is the size of the vestibule. She opens, oh, she opens the door into this room, and right before you, you see a stained, no, a wooden staircase that kind of leads up, and at the foot of the stairs is the three stained glass doors, which you just came through. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was confused. Mm -hmm. And so she go. Where are they? Hold on. Stained glass doors, though. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. That's sick. Stained glass doors. Um, let me just make sure I'm taking you to the right place. Oh hell yeah! Yes. Cool lights Actually, we it. should make this door stained glass. No. Because could you imagine like, the so sunset? Long, so well, oh yeah, I mean, this is not a reasonable thing. It's just Actually, cool. I don't think I was to do um, what if we play you know what you should do? We don't you own you should uh, put masking tape Fair on well. your windows in the pattern to make it look like Minecraft glass. You're right. <laughs> We should do that. Fucking God. Okay. Okay, so she she actually does lead you up the stairs. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Reveal. Up the stairs. And I don't know how to do the whole thing, but here we go. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. I'm oh, sorry, my, my laptop sucks. Oh, fuck. So, reveal. She leads you to these doors. Oh, fuck. I don't know how to use your toy. Right there. If you can see my ping. Oh, I bet we scrolled up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. Big. Is it a two-story building? Yes. Oh, cool. So you're upstairs. There's not an attic with a kid in it that we can just go. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we have to make sure that the owner of the house sees our faces and hears our names first. That's correct. <laughs> okay. That one of us is specifically talented at fire. Correct. <laughs> of which we started long months later. Okay. So it didn't give me pieces for the little guy, so I'm just going to put. I cast a healing spell in that in that place. That is it. There we go. Okay. Uh, so she leads you to this door where I pinged, and she says, "They are in there. You may enter if you wish." Oh, thank you so much. Um, I had to this your book club, mate. There's oh. double doors. Wow, I'm a book club now. <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't. Uh, you're speaking for a lot of folks that I'm not 100% sure can read. I'm going to so, walk in the door. I okay. I think we can't. Why is that like she's a baseline spending, thing? Spending for you. a couple hours with you. So you, so you open the door. <laughs> Look. I All mean, the rooms like, are just shaped so poor, funny. <laughs> poor ethics and decision making do not equate to a literacy. This. So this room, <laughs> so you open these double doors, er, and the maid like nods at you and then walks away. How long does suggestion work? A minute? Um, it, is, oh, it lasts like eight hours, so I can maintain oh, I mean, concentration. Okay, well yeah, she walks yeah, downstairs. That, it's just, it's very restrictive in that you can only... You're good. Kane. Oh, mother yeah. Were you were you holding Let's the go to a different chapter uh, to see what fucking books are in the, here? The Malakovich kids journal out a second ago. Yeah, just for a brief second, and then I realized that that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> um. Okay. I didn't. I didn't say anything in the moment, so I won't. Uh, I'm not going to go back. She to didn't. Back. She didn't seem to react to it. If that's what you are curious about, but hold on. No, I, was gonna, gonna, I was going to scan the cats to see if any of them reacted. Oh, to... I got you. I mean, you can. I think. I think actually, when he pulled it out, we were only around the maid. That sounds accurate. Not everybody. Uh, accurate. Yeah, fair enough. So. Oh Jesus. Okay, hold on. Uh, you rolled really well, so I don't want to uh, get you on this one. Hold on. I also I appreciate it, but we have to come back to it. To it's in a fucking different chapter for some reason. I hate this book so much. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So very quickly, you see a guide. Um, it, it just says on the on the spine, guide to fine wines. Um, you see a book that just says poems. You see a book that says bestiary. And you say you see a book that says exotic recipes, and that's all you really get. But she is holding a book in her hand that you can't quite see the cover of. Perfect. Were you petting the cat? I did. Okay. When we so first came in. Okay. Are you guys leaving now? The room. Yeah. Probably. Okay. It so, seems like seems like she's trying to get uh, us the fuck out of here. So one, yeah. One sure. One minute. Okay. Two seconds. I want to check something. Okay. Yeah. I I would like to use one of my no actually no never mind. I would like to rage. Oh, that's a rage. <laughs> you get the one to where it's like everyone in the radius, it's a black tendril, and you absorb them into a tendril. <laughs> and all these cats are just racist. <laughs> what, what? You're not doing anything, Deja? No, no, no. Sorry. Okay. Um, so you guys <laughs> leave. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you tonight at sunset. We've got a bit of shopping to do. Yes. Fine. Yeah. Um, you're fancy. Do you know any of any uh, uh, jewelry seller, like gem sales sales uh, in the city? I'm looking for diamonds. Very long time ago, we had a small collection of jewels. Uh, very long. Long before my lifetime. Uh, hmm. King, well... Uh, Here's my question to you, madam, uh, if I can. Uh, do you think it's worth... Putting any effort into looking around, or I'm not going to find diamonds in this city. I would maybe bet on either going to the castle and meeting with Lord von Zarovich, or I believe maybe their rumor Valaki camp outside of town, maybe perhaps. All right, cool. Has some. So, so probably not even worth looking around in the city. You may ask around. Perhaps they will get you in with the exact uh, uh, Vistoni. Did I say Vistani or Valakian? You said Vistani. Okay, Vistani. That is in charge of their horde, but otherwise I would go ask Master von Zarovich. So. All right, cool. Are you? Uh, have you met him? Uh, what? Yes. Okay, I'm just we we have not, but we've heard. I a lot see about no him. need to lie to you. Sure. No. Yes, I have met him. All right. Okay. We've just heard so much, but in the short time we've been here, but I guess sure. it makes sense if he's the. Lord. I'm sure if you met the burgomaster, he told you he was evil and is going to kill us, and that's why he has all these festivals and whatever. Sure. That's why he has all these festivals and whatever. But Strahd is nothing more than a negligent landlord, to be honest. The bur the burgomaster is the real villain to to all of us in the locket. Huh. We will discuss more at dinner. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much. Yes. Um, if you are interested in a uh, tailor shop, mm -hmm. the Beast Bouquet in the shopping district is where you should go. If you were speaking in... The Beast's Bouquet. The Beast Bouquet. That's what it's called. <laughs> 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 
Okay, let's leave. Let's leave. I got so much to say. Let's leave. Okay, so you walk out. You go into the hallway. Kane, actually, this cat is like circling around your legs and like rubbing on you. I'm freaking out. I yell. And as he starts to trot back in, the yeah, natural seven. Two. Yeah, very easily enough. As the cat starts to like prance back into the library, or is it invisible or kind of see? It is invisible. If I want it to be, it's yeah. entirely invisible. Okay, so this invisible force, um, kind of gently wraps around the collar and just snaps the key off cool. and brings it to you. Cat doesn't notice. Gently wraps around the cat's neck and just Cat walks back into the library as I would assume the last person heads out and shuts the door behind as them. A, as I take you. the key into my hand, I go, damn, I still got it. And I, and I kind of like... It's a key like this yeah, big. Yeah, and I kind of just like, I kind of just look at it. Super small. And I go, and I just put it in my pocket. Sure. I just put it right in my pocket. Actually, I drop it in my coin purse because it would okay. fit in there. Yeah, it's very small. Yeah. I have to pee. Um, so you guys are in the hallway yeah. right now. So um, we're just slowly making our way out. Last time you were in a mansion, that's not what happens. Yeah, yeah no, I'm making sure so we're very specifically walking our way out. And we're going to walk our way outside. Yeah, why wouldn't we? And we're going <laughs> to keep walking outside. Would we have any reason? Why wouldn't? And then once we're like two minutes past the house's view, like just down the street a little bit, I'm going to start like, I am so proud of you guys. The development, you guys did me so well in there, okay? What do you mean? You did great. You were nice. You only almost fucked up one time. Yeah, but I did steal something. <laughs> I should uh, Why do I ever start complimenting you? I'm just, kid, first time. I'm just kidding. Relax. Relax. When would I have stolen something? I don't know. Did you steal a book? I did not steal a book. Angelo, did I you stole, steal a book? I stole the love of that cat, though. That cat really wanted to follow me. Alright, great. Diedrich, I'm so fucking proud of you, mate. Yeah, Diedrich's already walked off. He's gonna find a bush and he's gonna light it on fire and just sit next to it. Diedrich, Diedrich, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it burn for like five seconds and then I'm gonna like slowly snuff it with produced flame <laughs> or with control flames. I'm like, it's okay. We probably don't want to be burning the uh, the the landscaping though. <laughs> Angela, mate, you did great with getting us in there. Love you for that. Okay, Bill, I know, I know. I know. I know you guys are outside now, but as you pass the door right below the library, you just hear another Meow! Meow! I love these cats. Yeah, and you hear like a on the door. Okay, we're good. Uh, on the way, as we're walking out, um, I would like to, Angela's going to focus his senses and uh, listen through his slug on the wall in the room. Okay. Ooh, he did leave his slug um, in that room. <laughs> Make up, make up perception I'm check you with slug more. stats. <laughs> you may I use later. Hey, go slug change. That go was not him. super good. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not super good. Ah, uh, that's only a ten. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna use my inspiration for this. Uh, for this. Oh yeah, everybody round. gets another point of inspiration. How? Where do you cast? They add or is it just one? Yeah, it's gonna be one every ten. session. But do they? Yeah, sign? you can add. Yeah. So we have two now if we didn't use them. Mm-hmm. What, Angelo? Ten. Uh, I'll give you guys up to five, because that's fun. Sure. Um, yeah. You don't hear a lot. You hear a book close. Um, where you put him on the wall is, like, just barely. Fiona is now out of view. Um, but you can really just hear kind of, like, books rattling. And then you hear her, like, whisper something, but it's too quiet for... For you to make out what she's saying. Okay. So um, she seems after, after a little bit, he seems confident that like it's not really going to go anywhere. He's going to dismiss the slug and then re-summon it on his shoulder. Okay. Oh fuck. Because I do not want a cat to eat the slug. Technically, Amity was out during all of that, but I'll just say I was like, she was in your sleeve or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She was hidden in my hood. That's fine. Um, did you bring? Oh, that's right. Yeah, she's out for three, three hours now, so she's out for a while. That's awesome. Proficiency, baby. Probably about noon now, by the way. Is it based on your proficiency? That's cool. I can um, only bring Sparky anyway, out for Yeah, I'm so fucking proud of all of you. Fiel, you, you out, are you out now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always good back up. Angelo, fucking phenomenal with the fucking getting this in. Anyway, anyway. Does this I'm mean so that he's an official member? Because I want him to be an official member so bad. You're really nice to me. I'm just we'll putting see. you we'll here. Therapy goes. All right, Angelo, we'll I'm rooting for you. Tonight. Angelo, I'm really rooting for you. We'll see how dinner goes. Um, Thank you. Also, 
Wow, guys. We are. There's yeah, so many exciting things that, that She said the S word. She said, you know. I, I'm not even worried about that. You know. Thing. We got much oh, bigger right. things to dive into. Most importantly. Wait. Do you we, think she's. No. I think <laughs> we are about to go shopping. She seemed human. Which is so fucking important. But you can see her reasons. ears. She seemed human. <laughs> it's very important. Daedric didn't use a magic, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Very important things about this shopping trip. A, I want you all to look at your best, because you represent me now. And second of all, we're going to the Beasts okay. Bouquet. Yeah. Why are you so excited about that? Because of our cards. Because of our cards! You, you I mean, have you not been thinking of Madam Ava every second of every day since you've heard of her? Oh, I think of a lot of things every second of every day. Madam Ava is not my kind oh of Oh my milk. god. Angelo, let me tell you about the greatest woman you've ever met. <laughs> Madame Ava was a Bastani, you know, the local folk, um, or not, right. no, not so local, depends on how you look at it, and, like, I think the day or two before we met you, we went to one of the camps, and we got our fortunes told as a group, and she drew five cards talking about our fortunes, and one of the cards, I believe the third card, but let me, fourth card she pulled was the Beast. Uh, and we said that this um person was a female werewolf who isn't such a big fan of the big guy, you know, the reek, reek, reek guy, and um, that they will shed a light um, on helping us. So I'm just putting pieces together, let's, but this could, now, and of course, I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but it could be pretty fucking cool. It's like a piece of our journey. No. No. Anyone? Anyone? Wait a minute. Wait. Does anybody know what the moon is supposed to be this evening? I know shit about the moon. Fiel, you know anything about the moon? Have we been able to see the moon? I know it's been pretty cloudy. Not really. No? Okay. But... It could be a waning crescent. <laughs> but... Be way back in Barovia, eight sessions ago, yeah. Ismark or Irina didn't refer to time in months. I think when they were mentioning when their dad died, they said moons. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. haven't seen it in one moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is correct. Take that how you will. But no, you don't think you saw the moon. Okay. So Hard to tell. There is a moon. In, in this image. Oh, that's daytime, maybe. <laughs> that's daytime? It's the sun. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's also Morovia, but I didn't have anything for you guys for Make great <laughs> impressions with this tailor. Also, just to look spiffy as fuck. Because we need cute outfits for a festival. Of course, but I do need to save... Because you're the honored guest. I do need to save some money to buy a, a diamond. That's fine, I'll help you, but you're the honored guest. Oh, at the festival, yeah, so yeah. So you yeah. gotta look fancy and fire. Oh yeah, of course. Fire guy. But well, here's the deal. We get you those coats. Actually, I fire. think for I think it might even be. Well, okay, that'd be cool. Yeah. But might it be better if I wear my most exotic clothing? No. What's your most exotic clothing? I just take this coat off and I'm wearing literal lizard scales. All right, but. And what they met you in, I figured you'd think, oh, look, I'm showing off, I'm dressing up. All right, cool. Give you a cool coat to go we'll over. We'll go with something. it. We'll go with it. Just think about it. I'm not going to take the lizard scales off. I'll just no. replace this coat with something a little more uh, pizzazzy. Dash. Yeah, dash. I like it. Sure. All right, so we need to go shopping. Everyone's got sort of a list in mind. I don't wear clothes. Well, that's literally <laughs> not true. But you also I, needed I, stuff. He wears a cloak. He doesn't have a shirt on, I don't think. He wears like a cloak. Pants. Yeah, Daedric, you might want to... Anything you put on me, yeah. I will put a cloak over it. Yeah, but totally you might, yeah. might want to buy a shirt. Just one. Uh, you, you know, Mr. Daedric, I think you look... You look really good in a blouse. I, I intend to purchase one for myself. I can I can buy one for you as well. Yeah, that actually... I think it would fit your figure pretty well, because it's a lot looser. I think you would actually like it. Yeah, not so constricting. Yeah. We could get it in black, mate. Allows for movement... Breathability. It's basically like not wearing a shirt. You love that. You can get your measurements and everything. I'm just saying. Just think about it. But also, you needed stuff before, even. 
Do I see any cats around? <laughs> oh, fucking god. Daedric, make a perception check. I rolled a one. Okay. No. All right. We, but there's other things for you. You need a diamond. I need some uh, metal bits. Yeah, but I'm not gonna find a diamond in the city. All right. I well, kind of take her at her word. I'm not gonna find a diamond in the city. So after the the festival, we can the festival. Yeah. Oh, the festival. Yeah, the festival. After, after the, the festival. festival, we can travel out because we were already planning to go that way. Anyways. The festival out of the woods. It's not in the woods. No, it is into the woods. The festival's in the woods. Well, it might be. Right. To the Vistani's house. Yeah. Okay. But home, but there before dark. Home right. before right. dark. Home before dark. Yeah. Yeah. Blue water in before dark. This is some kind of reference that I was going right It's definitely musical into the woods. This, this, is, this is indeed a reference, a very long winded and terrible reference. Really terrible. I hate <laughs> us. I really hate us. Two, two, anyway, into the woods, also, the musical. <laughs> two, two things. Oh, One, during that situation in the uh, cat room, I was counting in my head, and I would roll, and I decided that because I had a distraction thing, I was going to only, I mean, the only bad case would be a one, and each cat would get one roll as opposed to two because I'm distracted, and I didn't roll a single one. Oh, good. That's funny. You're welcome, lads. All okay, right, so, so where, need, where are we? Stuff. Uh, right. We're going shopping. We're going to the shopping market. Okay. I need a couple bits, and then we all need clothes. Did you? You said you needed something from the shops, maybe. You said, yeah. you, you said before you're like, oh, maybe I need something. I couldn't remember what it was. Oh, I just didn't. Uh, I didn't have time to think <clears throat> if there was anything that I did need. Angelo. No, I think I'm, oh, okay. uh, yes, Angelo. Don't take this the wrong way, because I don't. I don't normally care. Um, about these kind of things. But do you have any money? Like, we only have money because we were paid by, like, half of our money for the job that we sort of did. But, but do you have any money? Uh, yeah, I've got some money, and you hear, like, this, this kind of jingle, and he pulls out, like, a sack, like, this. <laughs> oh, good, good. All right, cool. Yeah, um, I need to go to, like, a bits and bulbs shop. Dude, you shop. don't have to eat them. Like Alright. Um, is anyone else in the other, other than the tailor? I need to go. Pubs. What is Pubs. Pubs. Um, if not, I'm just going to go, I'm going to try and find a shop that I think would have, like, trinket. Like, just stuff. Just a general store. Can I help okay. them move yeah. around? Uh, yep, so you guys make it back to the shopping district. You come across Pearsons and Belinsky's, or Thim Thimduels. I think it's Thimble's Armaments, which is where Pearson mm -hmm. works. Um, make, go ahead and make an investigation check with advantage, or you can roll call. Do you want me to look? I've got pretty decent investigation. It depends. If you want to look for it, look for it. I'll do it with advantage. I'm going to look. Okay. I, I looked good. You did look pretty good. What's your first? You're going to hire mine. Mine? Do I have? I don't think I have proficiency, but I have a plus two to intelligence. So, uh, 21. Okay. With my natural 19. Okay. Was it investigation? Yeah. I hate doing this on my phone. Do you have proficiency in it? No. I wouldn't think so. So, no. it's just two. two. So, oh, they're only okay. okay, so easily enough, Kane, you find a shop that has an old, like, kind of eaten up, moldy wood hanging sign um that has like a rose and it says the beast's bouquet ah. um so you find that very easily you also Mental walk past that is. fine you also walk past a shop that has a sign that kind of looks like an op like the back of an open book and written on it almost like a title would be says yomvik and sons um looks to be maybe a bookshop Mm -hmm. But then asking around, you don't really see a lot else. Um, I'm actually going to point that one out. I'm going to go, hey, Angelo. Uh, you might yeah, where is it? You might like that place uh, if we if we, if we we ever have any time to go in there. Or if you want to go in there right now. I mean, it, it looks like a bookshop or something. You seemed very, like, inordinately interested in the books in the place we were just at. So might be a good place for you. Anyway, 
Cool. Well, hold on. There, there's actually, I meant to say something about that. I, I don't know what book the woman had, but everybody else, I saw some other books in there, and I don't know what kind of book club this is. Um, they had books on A Guide to Fine Wines, uh, Poems, A Bestiary, and Exotic Recipes. And this sounds more to me like a cooking club than a, a, a book club. This is very poor fiction, uh, mm -hmm. unless they're discussing rats from the base here. I don't know. This seems strange to me. Could be. Poems. Could also be just like, you know, like an excuse to get together under like the guise of book club, you know, like bowling. Oh, we're going bowling tonight. We're not really going bowling. We just want to hang what out and get drunk. I like bowling. This is bowling. You don't have What's a bowling, bowling in the fire plane, or a bling bug. What's a bling It is old game. You have, like, do you just, like, does everybody just get around and, like, share cool bowls they've made? I actually would love that if that's what it was. So, like, a pottery thing? So, it is a pottery thing. But in, like, I don't even have... You roll in a ball, you knock way, down some stuff. It is clay ball, and you, you form, and you harden in the sun, and you smooth for days in the, in the river. Yeah. Do you, do you roll it with you? That sounds fun. No. Fucking witch. Uh -huh. Alright. Three I'm saying looking. it. Um, I'm saying it right now. The second that we get out of this place, we're all going bowling. Should we fall the bowling league? <laughs> Maybe not, but we can at least all give it a drive. <laughs> I love cats. So, three you're looking, you find this bookshop, and then you also like, from talking to people, um, if, if that's what you're doing, oh, yeah. you, 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 you are told trying. that... You, you meet some, like, older guy. He's like, eh, you want anything like that? You gotta go to the old apothecary on the north end of town. Third Eye Potions and Sundries. Oh, alright. Uh, Anya Trevally. I just got a friend who's, like, a bit of a, like, she likes to, like, tinker, like, build, you know, like, clocks and shit. Oh, uh, we don't have any of that. I know, I know. But, but if like, you were looking for more of a general store, I'd go there. Yeah, like, metal, like, just, like, little metal uh, bits. Like, yeah, I don't know. She's stuff. kind of an outcast, kind of a hermit, so right. i just go check it out. Actually, you know who might have something? It's Pearsome. I just need bits and bobs. It might. Like oh, Pearsome? Yeah. yeah, he's probably the closer like one. I thought you were looking for a general store. Oh, that too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye. Alright, I'm gonna go See into Pearsome's. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say, Pearsome, left. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say, You hear a clang and he goes, It's Merit! Ah! Hold on! Alright. And you hear, like, some clatter and he goes, Shit! Fuck! Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> And you see him, like, kind of waddle out, and he's, like, taking off some, like, welder's gloves. Lays them on the table. Yeah. Here's a mate. Welcome need... back. Yeah, thank you too much. You should yep. be careful. You should watch what you're doing. I need... Um... He opens his eyes at you. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I need... Well, I'm actually going to... Um, I often imagine that in your line of work, you have a lot of, like, scrap metal and bits and bobs lying around. What, what, do, you, what do you need? Literally just, like... I'm a pretty small gal, so they don't need to be very big. Just uh, I got some. I got some ball bearings. I got some tools. You need some. I got carpenter's tools, mason's tools, smith's tools, tinker's tools. No, I was literally thinking like if you were making like. A I mean, I could get you a, sh a, sh a sheet of shit metal. Yeah, that'd actually be great. But I don't need a whole metal. sheet. I need like ten inches by ten inches. Mm, pretty small. Yeah, I can go to the back and see what I've got. That'd be great, actually. All right, he walks back there, and after another like, clang clang, wow. shit. <laughs> While he's back there, uh, Angelo's gonna kind of like walk up to uh, to Merritt and like kind of like whisper over to like, "Hey, Merritt, Merritt, I've got a question." Go on. Okay, you made that that, that flame thing, right? The thing where it rolls clang, and it makes clang, the flame. Clang. Yeah, some of my best work. Okay, I get I get kind of anxious sometimes, mm -hmm. and I, uh, I I don't want. I was hoping you could make one of those, but like it doesn't need to make the flame. I just want something to kind of like you know thumb it and spin. I like to spin. All right, you were kind of last on my list, but I had an idea for you, but it wasn't that. But I can, I can fuck with something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right. Um, yeah, actually, I have a really cool idea. It's a play on my original idea, so I like what you're thinking. Thank you very much. All right. So this current that's idea is for the big guy, but I like. Uh, I, I'll, I'll get to yours too. So he comes back and he's he's holding this like old, almost black, blackened like piece of metal. And he throws it up on the counter, and you can see it's got, like, really shitty, like, welding beads on it. Like, just, yeah, it's just shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want this? Yeah, actually, that'd be great. And do All you right. have a, um, like, a spring? No. That, you'd have to go to Blinsky's Do you have floor. any wire? Just a little bit of wire? 
We could try Blinsky's. See what happens. Yeah, I um, would check Blinsky's. I don't have that kind of stuff. Do you Sorry. have an opal, graphite, silk, or ice? Uh, graphite, you should. I would go to uh, the the bookshop right next door. Oh, that's it. Ice. Ice. I said graphite out loud. I meant to say granite. I thought you might. Right. I do have some granite. Like a hunk. A uh, hunk would be good. Sure. How much do you need? Mm, it'll kind of just like makes like a small like ball. a softball He's size. Like, over here. like like this size, but after you work it. So if you could give me maybe twice that much. Yeah, okay, I can do that. He's like looking over here. He walks to the back. What did you say? Gra granite? Granite. What else? How much? Opal, granite, silk, or ice. Okay. So he walks back. Fuck! Cling, 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 cling. Oh, motherfucker! Cling, 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 cling. He comes back, and he's got in like a wrapped, like probably wrapped in like a newsprint or something. He hands it to you. Then you grab it, and it's much heavier than you expected. You assume it would be granite. Expected Sorry, granite. I don't have the rest of that stuff. Right. Okay. Okay, and I will put... How much did you want? Like... How much older? Yeah. That much. How much older do you need? I don't need... It doesn't a, tell you? don't need a gold oh. worth amount. Well, 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 I need a gold worth, it's so... It's hewn granite. It's probably bridge. <laughs> like, it's just rock, isn't it? Five gold. Three. Deal. <laughs> Give him three okay. gold. Um, and then I, I don't know. You get that much. Yeah, sure. Right. Enough to work with for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, graphite. Any of that? I'd go to the bookshop next door. Uh, well, springs wires. That's okay. Springs wires. Any of that? I'd go to Blinsky's. Sorry. Silk. All right. Keep your eyes out for silk. Yeah, maybe. Um, or the tailor. Yeah. yeah we are. Oh, we yeah, are going, going to the tailor. Yeah. I have to poop. I'll be right back. All right. Thanks oh. so much. <laughs> Listen, mate, you're the best. We love you so much, and I appreciate this. Do you want Kyle, don't be in there for too long. I just saw you grab your phone. Oh. You expect me to move without my phone, Valerie? Yes! What is this? I'm going to dress Kyle however we want now. Um, <laughs> we can dress Kyle. We can dress Kyle however we want. Um, All right. yes. Thank you. Okay. We're, um, okay. Thank you. 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 Do you, have you heard? Have you heard of the character named uh, the monkey with the tutu? <laughs> yeah, um, are you familiar with? That's what we're looking for. All right, Dude, I'm, I'm like Piccolo. Piccolo. Have you heard of Piccolo. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a trip to Blinsky's alone. No, actually, not alone. Tane's gonna come with me. Diedrich, specifically, you're not gonna come with me. Specifically, gonna hang out with Angelo and learn a bit about him, and you're gonna con maybe even have a conversation. Angelo, nice. Angelo, this is going to be more work on your part. While Phil's mm. in the bathroom, you're going to be alone. Just, just as a heads up, I'm going to try to be gone for two minutes. Try not to say any of his, any of his triggers. The list is growing, but and I'm not going to give you the list. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the list, but just know that there's a lot. All right, but you guys stay out here in the street. We're going into Blinsky. Yeah, we'll be back. Have fun. You walk into Blinsky's and you see him like hunched over a counter. He's like sewing something and he like notices you, sits up. Oh, hello. Welcome. Yeah. Are you looking for a toy for a little girl or a little boy? Uh, I'm looking for pieces of a toy. I'm kind of a builder myself. And I Ooh. make toys sometimes. And I need a bit of um, a couple springs, springs. and some wire. Yes. Uh, what kind of wire? Um, I, you know the kind that you just make. Just a little wire. Toys. Yeah, like um, like would be on a, a ukulele or something, something like uh, that. I don't know what a ukulele uh, is. Like a guitar? Do you, do you a have lute? Any, uh, like, lute. Like, like, like a, is that a, is like that a nylon a nylon, nylon wire or copper wire copper. or or um, nickel. Have, if you have any nickel. Mm, no nickel. I okay. have copper wire. Perfect. Just need like. A, in foot of that. Yes. Uh, one moment. What? I'm little. And he's like <laughs> digging under. He just hops. Some Are you crap. training under Von Virg? I'm sorry, what? Von Virg, Von, Von Virg. He's dead. Did you train under him? No. I picked him this last time. Yeah, you did. I'm self taught, actually. Just a oh. bit of a fuck around, really. Fire! Thank you. Just a Do small. You remember sport. Us? Do you remember us? 
Uh, yes, very scary. Please okay. do not okay. no, 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 threaten me again. Think you seem, you seem, like, less scary you seem really chill. Oh, no, no, Angela, okay, we no. left all of them back, like their other two. Hopping up from the counter is Piccolo. I Piccolo. And he just oh. drops oh, I and a bunch of... Fist, nope, he drops and there's a bunch of springs. They go oh, fuck you, mate. Thank you so much. He jumps actually, back uh, on Blinsky's uh, shoulders. Actually, Ricky, I'm talking to Ricky. Yeah, alright, cool. Um, yeah, uh, one builder to another. What do you make of mine now, mate? <laughs> no, sorry, no, I'm talking to Blinsky. No, I'm talking to Blinsky, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yes, no toy, come to me. A uh, little baby with beans for stuffing. And he holds up like a little stuffed... Uh, slug. It's like uh -huh. a bright yellow slug. Uh -huh. And he's like just sewing on like a little yeah. tag on Love its it. like, on its ear and it's like a heart and it says uh, it's got like a bee. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Little right. blood for a girl or a boy. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes you know a what? Sense. Yes? You know what kids love? Kids love my toys. Hopscotch. Maybe you could work that into this new toy in some fashion. Hmm. Just a thought. Right. Anyway. Very weird. Do not know what hopscotch is. Oh, really? It's a game uh, it's, it's Limbo. Just a, it's just a game. It's a Limbo. Look it up. Okay. Like Limbo, <laughs> okay. actually. Um, alright, that's all I need, mate. Do you want, uh, how much, how much for the wire and the springs? As long as you do not kill me, you may have it. Oh, that feels... I'm gonna give you a couple of copper pieces. Yeah. I will <laughs> not do anything to stop you. Alright, okay. I'm gonna give him a couple of copper as well. I'm gonna give him, like, four of copper. Okay. Four cups. I mean, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is worth practicing. That's your nothing. fault, Dangerous. This, this is worth practicing. I am very scared of you. Okay, this is worth practically <laughs> nothing, but I don't want to steal from you. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow. Thank you for coming to Blinsky's. Okay. I do feel he's like... He's no fun, he's no Blinsky. He's no fun, he's, he's no, no Blinsky. Blinsky. I do feel like he is an in entirely an innocent, just like, absolute, like... I appreciate you so... It's I feel like he's entirely innocent in this, yeah, and he just is like very much manipulated. Absolutely, it's like, the monkey all the way. He still does bad. Th I don't think it's the monkey. I think it's the monkey. Uh, I don't think it's the monkey. I think it's the monkey. <laughs> you trust that? I could talk to the monkey. I could talk to the monkey too. Could you? Yes. You know, speak with animals. Yes. Do it. Very cool. It's just an innate thing. I have. Really? Yes. You can just do that. Correct. Are you still in my store? Why haven't you done it? Yes. <laughs> okay. I can't. They can't talk he, like, back to me. He like pulls Piccolo to close really? to yeah. his chest. Is that how it works? Yeah, in the revised range. Please I leave. Can, I can talk to. Oh, him. it's the general sense, right? And my family yeah. alone. Okay, but can you actually? Yeah, if you talk to them, they can understand what I'm saying. Yeah, but can but you can't understand that. I don't like it. Can't as well. All right. Goodbye. Right. Leave. Yeah. Leave. Leave. Okay. Okay. Leave Blinsky's. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry, okay. Blinds. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna walk out and. <laughs> what were Angelo and Daedric doing in the meantime? I'm very interested. Yeah, da -da -da, Angelo and Daedric. <laughs> what were you doing? Anything? You want to go to the bookstore? So, uh, you don't like cats, do you? She just said, don't say my trigger. <laughs> she just said that. That's <laughs> the first thing Angelo says. So you want to talk about it? I thought trigger meant like trigger a good feeling or like trigger a good conversation. Should I burn some grass? <laughs> I don't think you should do that. There's like maybe a weed growing off the dirt road. I absolutely. This is the best gift you've ever made anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna burn some grass. I don't you know how to. You barbarian the create flame cantrip. Well, it's not too powerful. This but is yeah. this is the best thing that's ever happened to Cain because now there is a new agent of chaos to spread fire around this plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you want to go to the bookstore together? <laughs> you know, let's go. Okay. Uh, so you okay. walk. You walk pretty pretty close by. Is is like a. I stomp out the, the grass. Okay. I don't let it spread or anything. Yeah, you, it, it actually just kind of burns the one weed and then dissipates in the dust. Okay. Uh, but you can still stomp it if you want. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you walk in this bookshop, ding, 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 and uh, you see walls lined with empty shelves and a, uh, a young man standing behind the counter. Hello. Welcome Hi. to... 
Janvik and Sons. Can I help? Hi, I I was wondering, do you have any any spell books or like books with spells in them, or like you know books with spells that take a long time to cast, or you know? Oh, we don't actually carry any books. Um, I can give you some parchment or an empty journal or like a pen. Oh, oh, what kind of pen? A feather for calligraphy pen. All right, I'll take one of those and. Uh, one silver. Yeah. Oh, okay, and and on on top of that, do you have any any like old pens or like bad paper, bad batch stuff? You know, like. Uh, I guess I have like a ream of paper that didn't bind right. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that too. Okay, it'll be three silver for all of that. Uh, okay, silver so we... for all of it. Huh? No, 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 it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's okay. It, it, three, three silver is fine. Here, here you go. Do you hand him three silver? Yeah. Okay, he takes it and then hands you like... Uh, like a raven feather that has a little tip on the end. Um, no ink. And then he, he like, leans below and grabs this ream of paper. So maybe, like, 300 sheets, and it's just yellowed. And maybe got some holes in it from, like, weevils. Mm. I, I, I apologize. I'm a, a total scatterbrain. Could, could I also get some, uh, some ink, please? Uh... Uh, preferably, preferably blue. Black is fine, too. I have one bottle of black ink. I'll, I'll take that. Okay, it's going to be another silver. Okay, there's, there's another silver. Okay, thanks. And he grabs it and then, like, grabs below and hands you a thing of ink. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm, I'm going to go now. Okay, thanks for coming in. See you at the thank festival. You. Yeah, have, have a good time. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to walk out, and as soon as we get out, Angelo's going to, like, inspect the pen and get kind of excited about it. It's a pretty, it it's a pretty decent pen. Um, the nib the nib is pretty nice, pretty flexible. Don't You don't think it'll break if you uh, put too much pressure on it, so it's a pretty good calligraphy, calligraphy pen. Um, you also haven't seen any birds other than ravens, so this makes sense. Fjell you know, comes walking back, and you just come walking up and go, oh, how was Blinsky's? All right. He's always an adventure, that guy. Right, I, I'm making it a personal pact of my own that I really never set foot in there again. Anyone who just absentmindedly goes scrolling the death rune on things, I really just don't trust. That's fair. He has no I idea the power that he was trifling with. Anymore. You can make one wrong mistake, one misguided stroke, and next thing you know, also, he's actually introducing one of the single most powerful forms of necromantic energies into this world. Real yeah, quick, I'm uh, so deep, but... seeing, Could be. seeing Angelo get really excited about the feather... Uh, Didrick's just gonna say, like, yes, it, it, it looks very, very nice. Oh, right, yeah, actually, hold, hold on a second, and he, he puts it away after looking at it a little longer. Uh, this is for you, and he gives, he gives you the huge stack of shit paper. <laughs> I, you seem to like burning things, and I was a little anxious about you burning the ground, oh. and I thought you might like, you know, oh, some, no. some practice, so you can really burn something one of these oh. days. That's sweet in the worst I'm way gonna, for us possible. I'm going to open my bag of holding and just... <laughs> 300! Most of it in there. 300 just, sheets. Like, crumple up a couple and then burn it. There's some Anytime you're reaching maggoty, maggoty paper. paper cuts. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's fine. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, Blinsky is good. Got me on my shit. Nice. Pick a Piccolo says hi, everybody. Um, Angelo, I don't. We, you were with us when we met the good old Blinsky, but he is a toy maker of the generally worst variety, in that he can see somehow. He like can see us and makes toys based on us. And because you've joined our group for worse for you, probably he made um a stuffy. No, stuff with beans. A beanie. Slug of hopscotch. To be honest, it just looks like a bean bag because yellow bean slugs don't really look like anything. To be honest, they don't really have any features. Um, that, so that's true. Yeah. 
Almost looked like like a little ravioli. Like it wasn't yeah, finished. Yeah, it didn't have these eye stops. Like glued two eyes on it. It's like it's a hotdog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be honest, but he um he didn't name it hotspot or anything. He it just Not yet. just to be aware that the cosmos of this area seems to um recognize us and then influence um toy makers to make toys based on us. Just as a heads up, if you see a kid walking around one day with a slug hot scotch, that's why. I will say, I think Merritt is making the sound way more nefarious than it actually is. The dude just has weird dreams about the people that are just walking around this town. I didn't say it was his fault, was it? Just Cosmo's influence. Well, maybe then I was projecting on Merritt, so Did my bad. That? Does he say that he gets the ideas for his toys from his dreams, or he gets the toys from... Uh, but weird. Both. Oh. He gets. He gets the the the. He gets some commissions from from the dude. From Isaac. From Isaac. Not von right. Weird. Not von weird. weird. He. He told you when you asked about the ones that looked like you or looked like your stuff. He said that those came to him in a dream. The ones of Irina come from Isaac, mm-hmm. and he didn't say about the other, like, ten random ones. But he did say he was trained by Von Weir. Yes. Yes, that's what he was trained. And he said if you guys, I, you didn't really push him on this, but he said if you ever wanted to, like, see Von Weir's, like, stuff, there's something in the castle. Yeah. And to come back and talk to him. Cool. Um, so now we need to go to the tailor. Yeah. And again, just be, we're trying to make friends. That's that's all I'm ever trying to do. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying to everyone involved. Ah, that's Maybe that's uh, she's she's adding you, Daedric. I think. No, 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 I'm adding everyone as individuals. <laughs> is that like I an? Know my role. Is that like an at here or an at channel or something? You're just everybody. Everyone. Just make sure everybody gets <laughs> yeah. the notification. There's Including myself. <laughs> at here. Yeah. Some people <laughs> need to fucking pull it together. Individuals. No, all right. So to the tailor. All right, I'll cool. call a very specific idea because I got you. Um, I have a vaguely specific idea. That's right. But okay, and we're gonna go to the stone or the uh, flower oh, you know, place. I've got, I've got something. And um, the flowers. Uh, the, the, the beast beast's bouquet. I know, but the there was a rose on this on the um. Sign. On the placard, sure. yeah. yeah. So, all uh, right, let's remember what you needed. So great. We'll go in. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so you go in. Ding ding. Um, and behind the counter are um, uh, I'd say there's a woman sitting at the counter, um, maybe middle aged or so. And sh- uh, you walk in and you see a couple mannequins that have just, like, simple commoner's clothes and then also some with, like, winter's pelts and then, like, two. One with, like, a, a really, really plain, like, wedding dress and one with, like, a really, really, really plain, like, suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, she just goes, oh, hello, how can I help you? Welcome to the Beast Bouquet. Oh, uh, thank you, madam. We are looking to procure... Finer clothing for the coming festivities. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, for for tomorrow, you mean? For tomorrow, and we have our own obligations this evening. Oh, you want something tailored by tonight? Mm-hmm. We can uh, take whatever you have. Something that will at least make us look nice. It would take more at. than an evening to tailor something specifically for you, but if you wanted me to like alter some things we have in the back, I can probably do that by shop clothes. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Right, lads? We can, um... It might cost you a little bit extra. Sorry. That's all right. We've been preparing for the festival, yeah. Yeah, totally understand. Good. Um... We'll have a look around, then. Sure, yeah. Thanks. Can uh, so we go to the children's section? Okay. Like the only humans live here. Sure. Um, no, no, no. as you guys section. go kind of spread out, another woman from around the corner comes carrying, like, two plaster donkey heads. She sets them on the <laughs> counter, and they start to kind of discuss about them. Um, so yeah, in the children's clothes section, you see a lot of, first of all, there's like tons of rolls of fabric, but none of them are bright and colorful. They're all mostly natural, like neutral colors. Uh, A couple grays, you see like some reds, um, and then like maybe one navy, Mm -hmm. but the rest are just like browns and maybe some greens, but not bright, nothing bright. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, in the children's section, you see like 
one like little tiny toddler, probably too small for you, like later hosen outfit. Mm -hmm. um, there's one little like s dress that has flowers on it, like fake flowers kind of embroidered in it. Mm -hmm. Not bright at all, still kind of browns and, and stuff. And then you see um, like a little like a little button up sweater mm -hmm. and little pants that also have flowers like embroidered on them. That's in the children's section. Okay. Uh, there's also like a wedding dress on this mannequin, um, a suit, and then if you guys look, that one. Yeah. Um, quite the variety of winter pelts. Um, some of them actually look pretty nice. They all seem to be kind of wolf skin, maybe some deer skin, a uh, little bit of leather, but mostly like wolf. Um, those are much nicer. Um, mostly coats though. You see one fur like, um, like, not poncho, but, like, pelts that you would just wear on your shoulders. Kind of like a cape, like a half cape. Do you have any nice, like, formal coats? Like, a nice, something that could fit over this? Mm. Uh, not the coat I'm wearing. To replace the coat I'm wearing. Yeah, I can look in the back real quick. That'd be great. Okay. She runs to the back, uh, and then you see this other woman who is a little heavier set with, like, shaved head, like a little bit of a, bu of a buzz cut. Just kind of watching you guys. And she's got this huge, like, scar across her face. Does it look um, like a burn scar? No. Okay. Looks like claws. Oh, okay. Um, and she just kind of watches you, like, leans over the counter, like, very sul sullen, like, watches you. And then a second later, the other woman comes back. Um, long hair, but tied in, like, a really tight braid. Um, they both look about the same age. And she brings out, like, a, like an arm's length, so maybe, like, six coats. And one of them is really quite big, but it looks more like a cape, like... Like those red capes that like a king would wear, mm -hmm. but it's like totally neutral and it looks like a like a pelt, but it looks pretty fancy. And then there's like five like just plain but kind of dressy coats, jackets. I would, two of them are fur lined. I would which love look fancier. one of those. Uh, those nicer the the nicer ones fur lined doesn't usually work with me so okay. um so just one, one of the, the plain yeah one of the plain ones. can you do me a favor though perhaps can you, can you can you make alterations to these sure alterations are it's about nothing major um just because yeah. I know you're on limited time and I kind of want this by the end of the day yeah we can, can put you, put you up on can them. you take some of the reds that you have and mm -hmm. just do some just do some sure. some embroidery on it. Um, yeah. I'm really going for a look like fire because this is for the festival of the, the blazing sun, and you know, fire's real big. You know. Okay. I thought for sure you were just going to be like, "Can you take some of that red and just put flames on it?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some you know, sick flame be artistic with it. You run faster. <laughs> do do as much or as little as you think looks nice. Okay. Um, it is a formal event that I plan to be attending, so don't go crazy with it. But like, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever looks nice in your, what's in your culture. Mm. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. I'm not you looking at y'all just remember the word culture. No, I just you know that's a thing that y'all would ask. Another <laughs> thing y'all would ask. I'm sorry, never caught it. Your name was? Oh, my name is Lottie. Oh. This is my wife Lorna. Lorna, to meet you. She nods at you. She doesn't say anything. Lorna. Lorna. Lorna and Lottie, yep. Um, anything for you guys? Uh, she kind of looks you up and down, Fjell, and goes, I could alter this cape for you. It's kind of the only big thing I have. It might take me a little longer to make something. Might be the only thing that'll fit in here, man. I figured what I was wearing was appropriate as a ceremonial armor. Yeah, but like... Oh, dynamite. Ceremonial to what culture? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him. You got him. I'll take Absolutely got you then, mate. Okay. Um, I'll card. alter it and make it a little... She starts to, like, sketch in a sketchbook, and I'll alter. Do what you got, if it will fit for the evening. Now, the personally, I think Angela looks plenty fancy enough, but the two of you are going to need something. Okay. I, I, I do actually have a, a quick request. Yes. Um, do you, would you happen to have any, like, uh, I'm, look, I'm thinking of, like, a, a white fur scarf, uh, maybe like a fox or something like that? Um, I have wolf. Wolf? Wolf will we'll do. Uh, preferably white. Uh, gleaming, the more gleaming, the better. Okay. She runs to the back and then comes back out later with, like, a roll of, like, bright arctic white fur. She says, I have a roll. It, it might take me a second to, to actually make something. 
Um, is it okay if I... A nice, nice big warm scarf. Okay, I just have to charge a little more. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah, um, I will peg this and I'll hold up the dress with flowers on it. Um, uh, it looks about my size, so... Yeah, actually it actually looks like it would fit you pretty well. Great, yeah. Okay. Does it go all the way to me feet or is it me knees? Your knees. Great, perfect. I can alter it, make some space. Just, I'll cut through double chain. What do you think? I don't know. Are we going to find out, mate? I've right. worn a dress in like a long time. Me neither. Yeah, to point. Uh, she's sketching furiously or writing furiously in the notebook and then. I think uh, it needs alterations, honestly, I'll take it as is. Lorna is just kind of staring at you guys. Um, and for you, she looks at you, Daedric. Can I, can I help you at all with anything? I'm okay. Daedric. Oh, okay. No, Daedric. actually. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's going to need, like, well, can I say this with all love? Be short like me. So, do you have any, like, quarter, like, like for humans, what would be called, like, a fingertip length or, like, elbow length cloak? I've got some cloaks, but they're mostly um, just wolf's pelt. Daedric, that could be very nice with your complexion. Something I have a couple with hoods. Something that'll look nice. with a oh, hood. That's great. As long and as could you put the little wolf ears up on his ears? You know, like on top of his head? I could. Like this? I could. How much for the one without the ears? No. Well, uh, it would co- well I have none with ears, so it would cost more right. to put ears on it. Um, but just one yeah. would probably be, oh, if it's a wolf skin, probably one gold. Oh, it's already made. I don't have to alter it. It's okay. silver. Um, sorry. One gold. Our supplies are a little limited until the boys go out hunting again. Yeah, okay. no, I think that's fine. One gold. What were the names of hunters? They were... Yeah, One moment, boys, while I pull it back up. Yevangi? Uh, Yev- Yevgeny? Yevangi? I think I said Yevangi. And Solzdar. Oh, I did not have those with that. Yvengi. 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 Solzar. 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 and Yvengi Krushkin. Yes, we've met. I'm sure, yeah. yeah. They're good boys. I think they're actually going out to hunt right after the festival the next day, so... That's what they said. When I said... Did you, uh, used to hunt with them, Lorna? Used to. That's where you got that scar. Oh, you don't just ask that. No, they've got face scars. They're matching. Oh, so they're allowed to talk about it. Stories. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Go on. Yeah, they're matching. <laughs> they're matching face scars. They're allowed to talk about it. Yeah. Um, that's why I started hunting, actually. Ooh. But uh settled so down when I found my girl. Spite hunter? Is that what you were? <laughs> I mean, I was attacked as a kid. That is rad. Hmm. I mean, it's not rad that you were attacked as a kid. It's right. just rad that you. Phil's gonna feel. <laughs> Phil's gonna. <laughs> Phil's gonna feel his face right where the right where the rune is stamped in, and just go. Like not too dissimilar of a story, it would seem. Sure. Like, yeah, I used to hunt. Kid recently. I what? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, oh I used to hunt with the boys, and then uh. We all found wives. I settled down. They didn't as much. Yeah, so. That's all. Cool. But yeah. It was werewolves, you know. So. So, um. Uh. L- 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 Lorna, the other one, though. Lottie. 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 Lottie, 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 yeah. Lottie, Lottie. Um, we do have dinner plans. Do you think you can have this ready by dinner? Well, we close shop like an hour before time. sundown. Okay. We can have them by then. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, it'll be, let's see, one for the wolf hood, one for the white scarf, probably three for your embroidered jacket. Sure. Um, yeah, she's Your big. Easter dress is fine, so actually five silver for that one. Okay. And then your cape. We'll make some alterations and make it a little bigger um, just to, you know, so it doesn't just come at your, your, your butt, you know. Um, that one might be the most expensive, five gold. Is that okay? Perfect. Um, just give me a total look. Um, Actually, if I could as well. Um, do you have any... We'll round up to 11 because I have five silver just for you. Just know that gold is not our only concern here. It takes time gold. to embroider shit. And if you're about to put runes on this thing, it's not going to happen. I'm going to ask anyone. All right. right. We could... Uh, if it's not for tonight, you could always bring them back and we can alter them and tailor them. That's okay. I'm just looking for silk. Uh, sure, we have a roll. Um, the want... silk is pretty rare, though. Okay. Um, I'm 
For how, how much are you looking for? I'm just looking to form a pennant. I can do my own a pen um, how big? sewing in my uh, five foot. Uh, that is a big pennant. To give, yeah, probably about 30 gold. That is Maybe. Illegal. Okay. Shit. That is a big pennant. What are you making five foot of silk out of? I will purchase five feet of your finest silk. Okay, I can have it for you tonight. What color is it? Uh, like a gray. Like a light gray. But it's shiny because it's so... It'll work for him. He's a light gray look. Nice. Yeah. Maybe kind of a bluish gray? Yeah. Mm, you mind? Sure. <laughs> All right. Actually, more of a reddish gray. But. Interesting. Hmm. We'll see if the wind takes. When he gets really angry, he goes to kind of reddish gray. Ooh, but... that's yeah. scary. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, well, we better I, I, get to work. Bink. Anyways. Bink. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. We, we would just require payment upon... Uh, take it, and we don't Not have to worry about oh, it Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, so, so 10 gold, or 11 gold, 30 gold. I need one of my gold for my thing. Okay. Well, then I still get 11. Just How much did you charge me? For? It's three gold for the granite. I, oh yeah. And then you need your silk, Mike. Yeah, that's what you just paid for. Oh, I'm sorry. So, 11 for you guys. Yep. 30. Paid. Extra. I paid for... Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... Well, then I take my gold back. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys so exit. They actually, uh, Lorna actually kind of walks up to the window as you guys start to walk away, and she flips the sign from open to closed. So. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we'll see you in a couple of hours. Then. Sorry if we're losing you business, but we also did just spend like forty-one gold in yeah, your establishment. You're, you're so, yeah, you're you're okay. You're, you're helping <laughs> oh, us out. As yeah. I put a like, I'll count it out, and I'll put like a sack of thirty gold One. down, and I'll slide it across. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll slide it across, and as I do, I'm just gonna make dead eye contact with uh, Lorna. Yeah, Lottie's already gone to the back. Lorna's the one taking your mind. Okay, with Lorna. So, and and then like um. And then, then as I push it forward, I'm just going to have, like, another, like, two gold in, in, in between my fingers. And just say, so you say werewolves. She looks at the gold. She puts her hand out on the table like this for you to put them under. She grabs them and scoops them back, puts them in the bag. Excuse me. Yeah. They don't come around here anymore. It's not with the bullet, not with the boys hunt. They hunt the regular wolves. Well, they're a little bigger than regular wolves, but... They're not werewolves by any means. That's Scott. Yeah, when I got it, I scared them off. They stay by their den now. And their den? That'll cost you. I think it already has. 30 gold for silk? It's a rarity. I'm sure. Look, tomorrow I'll tell you where. BAP! <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> where did you always come from? <laughs> <laughs> you we keep them around. <laughs> All right. Last I heard, unless they moved, which could have been, this was about 20 years ago, their pack leader or whatever, they, uh, they hole up in their den up in the, in the cave west of Lake Baratok. Small lake up by Yester Hill. You need to be writing this down. I'm sorry, I was looking for Lord of the Rings It's acceptable. Yester Hill, like yesterday. Where cave west of Lake Barra... But Barra Talk, B-A-R-A-T-O-K. Cave west of Lake Barra Talk. Out by Yester Hill. The cave is west of the lake. That's yes. a lake. Okay. Out by Yester Hill. But I don't know, they could have moved by then. Either. Insight check. Can I assist him in that, or... You already rolled with advantage, don't I you? I do already roll with advantage. Never mind. Would you like to know what happened? What'd you roll? Go ahead and look. Da, da, da. What did you roll? Two natural ones. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you have inspiration. You have two points of inspiration. You have two points of inspiration. Oh. Please use a point of inspiration. All right, yeah, oh. I'll use a point of inspiration. You don't roll double advantage again. Yeah, you Same just one. roll one of them again. Two ones again. <laughs> but it's 11. 11. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good, though. you got a decent insight. It's okay. I think I have, like, a plus four. So 15. Yeah, uh, she okay. seems to be straightforward with you, but she's also being honest about, like, this was a long time ago, so it very well could be different. Um, but that's all she's got. Like that talk. Yes, you want any more information, you gotta get it from the werewolves. You'll probably encounter them out in the woods if you're not safe. But they're west. 
They don't come around here because of me. Are they? Oh, never mind then. I was going to ask if they're nice because you said if you want any information, you got to no. get it from the werewolves. I'm not nice to the people who live here. I know. They're lycanthropes. They can be people. Okay, but they can't talk in like animal form and like beast form? Never did to me. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is I have not met a lycanthrope before. Look at his check. I haven't met a lycanthrope before. Okay. When would I have met a lycanthrope? Is that lycanthrope's in limbo? No. no. What's a were raven, bro? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Okay. He's an idiot. All right, so well, Kim thinks he's not cause, that cause, one. Well, because they don't turn into, like, half raven, half people. They turn into people or I mean, full raven. Too. If you've never met one, you don't know. So far. Lycanthropes, in my mind, are, like, bipedal But lycanthropes in Kim's mind don't mean shit because you've never met them. Exactly. D GM, mm. um, the, lake, the lake name one more time. Baratok. Baratok. Is that on our map somewhere? Um, you go to map... Should have done this a long time ago, hmm. but it is no longer there. Oh, the map isn't, or the light isn't. Your map is no longer on your person, and I don't know how to get rid of it from your journal, so you don't have a map right now. Oh, where is the map? Mysterious, mysterious note. note. Oh, you're right. It's mysterious, mysterious note. note. You're right. Straw finish up with. Oh yay! So, I think that's what my buzz was for. Yeah. What are we looking for? Did I, I fix it? Did I fix it? Is it gone? Yes. Yes. Mysterious note, yeah. yes. Oh, You're, oh, none oh. of you have the map. We lost the map. A bloody map that we got from the dead guy? Yes. yes. Fucking shit. I don't know how we lost a map. Nope, you don't. Know. Which one of us was holding it? Did we just leave I it I reach into the bag of holding and I grab paper and I pull it out. Okay. You yeah. grab a handful of old maggoty paper. That's not it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> could have sworn I had it on me. I must have. You I'm so it. sorry. Did you leave it in the room? Maybe. I, I, very possibly. I don't know when I. Did you ever have it out in the room? I don't think so. We haven't well, looked at it in a long didn't time. Leave it in the room. Uh, I think I'm going to guess it was stolen. Actually, by the a last. Mysterious force. Well, well the last time we had it out. Okay. Was it, was it, I don't know if it was breakfast the la or dinner when we learned about the Wizard of Wine, so we were, we were wondering where the Wizard of Wine was. We did do was. that, yep. That was a meal or two ago. Yeah. That was out. Do you seem to put it back in your pack when you were finished? Right, so that was, we at are least had missing, it within the last day. Are you missing anything else? Yeah, what about, what about, do a pet now. Not really. You got the big sword, you got the little sword, you got the smaller sword. Oh, you left your sword at Fiona, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> One of the kids probably got it. Yeah, just the map seems to be missing. Well, great. Good. Weird. How would we ever? Okay, um. The television sorry. producer probably doesn't Meant to want do us that to have before a map you opened anymore. It. <laughs> Meant to do that before you opened it. I'm sorry. Okay, um, probably lunchtime. Let's. Thank you so much for your service. We'll be back um, an hour before sundown, a couple hours from now. Grab our stuff. Yeah, yeah, works for me. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Great. Thanks you so good? much. Yeah, you good? Oops, sorry. It was like a high bar. All right, so uh, what are we doing now? We got like Lorna whole, shuts the door behind you and flips yeah, the sign. We have like a whole a whole afternoon to just. You know what I really want to do? I'm gonna go fuck around and find out what's in the uh, the old curios of wonders or whatever the fuck he calls it. It's called the Rick Tavia's Curio of Wonders. I was fucking right. Stupid name, but I really want to find out. Really want to find out. And I've got um, Amity here for like another hour. Mm. Oh, okay, this is long. Is it past one? You maybe have another now? half hour. All right, great. We got to get there quick while Amity can like, you know, be my eyes and ears. You're not far from the from the Blade stockyard. It's so probably be like a maybe an eight minute walk. It's like a closed circus cart. Amity, I don't know. Don't even find out. I mean, I'll do the chaos guy. Sure, I'll roll with it, <laughs> but but I have now, like. What else are we gonna do this afternoon? That's a great point. We have nothing till dinner. We, we can't really, leave town. We really got shit we can do, right? We yeah. could look for the bones. I could see. <laughs> <laughs> Daedric, that's the last <laughs> on our list. We Daedric, could, come on, lads. We could we could go <laughs> and carry <laughs> Daedric. We could do the thing we've been telling people no, we're going to do. <laughs> 
This Ricky we guy. Could we could do the first quest of the whole <laughs> chapter. No, we could <laughs> indeed go interrogate a child about bones. All right, should we review our goals and see which ones we've hit? Should we do a goal review? What uh, we should do is sit down and talk about those freaking cards. We should do that, but that's—I was going to say yeah. that's on lunch, and I only have thirty more minutes with Emily, so if we're going to fuck around with the cart. I need thirty minutes, then we'll go to lunch. I don't think—I don't think the cart is worth fucking around with. You didn't. You don't remember the car, and it was like, he, what does he feed? Pounds and pounds of wolf steak. I saw him go in there. Whatever it is, it's not that dangerous, or what it is. You guys him. figure out what you're doing. What, like, if what, if, what if he has a dragon in there, mate? A little one. Be a tiger. Then he's got a dragon he in there. He said he wasn't a tiger. Oh, yay. Look, I'll do anything. Hey, oh, yay. This Rictavio gentleman, I'm just not a huge fan of him, though. I just, I, he, he, he asked, our, he, he, he like so reasonably asked that we not go there. And he's been so nice otherwise. Why do we need to put Hold on. One? Did you, uh, reasonable? Are we going off reasonable now? Is yeah. that our mode moving forward? Yeah. Great. What did you steal from the house? From what house? The house. No, you. After leaving immediately, you told me I stole something from it. I was joking. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> What'd you steal? I stole. Mr. Reasonable. I stole a key. A key to the house. Uh, no, just a small key. It was around one of the cats. When I was petting the cat, I took the key. You stole a key from a cat. Well, yeah. You're worse than Diedrich. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> theft and murder is. <laughs> No, I, I can't talk to cats or anything, but if the cat just <laughs> walked up holding the key, then I think it was an offering. I don't think he did anything wrong. Bingo. Did the cat I offer fucking you? love Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> the cat offered you the key. No. The cat said, Mr. Guy. I, 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 did, not, I, I did not cast my secret animal it. spell. Daedric, what do you think? Should we look at the Curio of Wonders? <laughs> it's just a small key. Shh, shh. Angelo, what you thought? It's a really small key, uh, so if we find a really yeah. small lock, I will be the winner. <laughs> I, I think, I'll tell you what, I found this really cool thing here. Hold on, let me, let me pull it out. It's this neat little, uh, it's a little, it looks like a little ball. It's, but it's got like 20 sides, and okay. each of them got a number on it. Okay. And sometimes I like to do odds and evens, so how okay. about... If it's odd, we do the odd thing and go to the place, and if it's even, we do the safe thing and we don't go. Fine, fine. Okay. Oh, that's a nine. We should do the odd thing. Lads. Absolutely. Well, that lads. Is, I love Angela. That is literally the only convincing I needed. <laughs> welcome to Fairy Smart Men. Hey, yes, baby! <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's celebrate listen, with some listen, listen. If we all go and we hang around it, he's gonna notice. I'm pretty sure he's following us at all times, but that's not neither, neither here nor there. All right. And it's right lunch time. How far can Amity travel? Can she just lunch fly time. over there? No, she can't fly. She doesn't have wings. Can she just run? Out? Well, probably would not want to run in the street. She wants. Who's gonna stop her? You want a little dragon to just run through the streets here? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the demon armed captain of the guard will just not take. No, you they probably think she's one of the curios. It's having to get her in there. Mm. Yeah, I promise. Don't worry about it. I got it. Sounds sketch, but I'm. But if we all go up to it, we're not going to go up to it. I'm going to send her forward. She's smart. She'll know what to do. Uh. Okay, sure, whatever, dude. Yeah, you being mighty quiet. I am along for the ride. All right, maybe. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to loiter by the stocks because that's kind of where it's at. Do some plant. And this will be great if you see the commander around the stocks. It's a double win. The double win. So you all be on the lookout for the be a double win. lobster arm. Hey, if we Hellboy. see him, or I should say, when we see him tomorrow, what? What's the fucking plan? I'm going to talk to him. Yeah, you're going to talk to him. And Deidre. And what do I do? <laughs> you're going to talk to the god in the way that you talk to lots of folks. I don't think it's going to work. We're not going to stop them, yes. but I am going to talk to him. You're just going to okay. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you have a plan. Because I am just going to stand by, ready to cast flame arrows. Because I'm really excited about that one. Yeah, it's huge, you know? That does sound really impressive. Yeah, pretty cool. I figured out how to... Bad day at the festival. We're not going to fuck up the festival. The festival? Yeah, the festival. I think we are going to fuck up the festival. No. I think that's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> let's, okay, but let's be on the lookout now, and I'm going to go fuck around the car. All right. All right, I'll... So I'll, you yep, go I'll, to... We will all trail around it as your world. We are just living in it. Damn right. So you make your way from the shopping district to the stocks. Takes you maybe seven or eight minutes. Not oh, not very far. Um, 
And cool. yeah, you make it to the uh, the, the wagon. Can you make it bigger? Jesus, can you Should see? I make Relax, it bigger? I'm just sitting um, <laughs> you see on the ground maybe some muddied like. Uh, what are these does called? Does it look like mud, or does it look like something else that rhymes? No, with it's mud. mud. It's mud, I think. Do I believe the DM? We're gonna stand back. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to, my, my I'm going to pull blood. Amity from my hood and like sort of place her on the ground and crash down and say, all right, mate, you and me now, mostly you though. I need you to go in. Looks like there's some bars on the one side of it. I need you to do your thing. Go in, look around. Don't get yourself hurt. But also if you do, it's fine. Get some, in try not to though. And bring some information back as much as you can. Anything you see in there is vital. And especially be on the lookout for bigger versions of yourself, alright? But anything's good. Amity, I don't think she's a dragon. <laughs> Angelo's, Angel's gonna walk up and go, You got this little one, and give, give him a little crumb of bread, and uh, cast Guidance. Okay, oh. perfect. He's definitely in. He's definitely in. I like, he's my new favorite. Um, Angelo, <laughs> can you speak Draconic? Uh, no, I can't. I, I, can, I can speak uh, Common, uh, Celestial, and, and Elch. Then you just hear a little, like, <laughs> Amity <laughs> says thank you. Yeah, and she's, uh, she I wasn't so sure out. about you before, but I think she likes you now. In the, in the future, she's more of a raw flesh kind of creature, but I like the bread. The bread's a good touch. Don't give her carbs very often. Try to keep her pretty lean. Okay, so you, so I'm what do sure you do we'll with her? Flesh. <laughs> uh, Emily, it's all you. What do you do with her? Um, just she's put her just on the ground? Or? Yeah, she's just on the ground. She can't do, she can't fly. So okay. she's just, uh, not yet. Not yet! It's fine, you can fly. Maybe are you can doing, you. Are you doing stealthy? No. For her? Um, yeah, I mean, she's a glittering gold lizard looking thing, so... She should, she should be stealthy. Okay, roll, roll stealth check for her. You can add it for that. Do you have the empty stats? Yeah. You also have the d8 because of guidance. Yeah. No, it's a d4 for oh, guidance. D4. My bad, my bad. Um... <laughs> My Drake companion. Companion? Drake. Drake. So stealth is what? Dex? That's my Drake companion. Stealth right there. Dex? That's my Drake companion. Stealth is Dex, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, plus a what? Plus four? Plus your deck. A D4. Oh, plus a D4, yeah. Alright. Okay. So. 15? Okay. So she kind of snakes her way up oh, to the wagon. I thought you rolled a 15. Okay. And uh, <laughs> you may look if you want, but on a natural 20 uh, passive perception, or perception check, I'm sorry, not passive, you see uh, a middle-aged man kind of start to approach you guys from the big stock building. Approach the humans? Approach you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of from behind the cart. None of us are human. And you guys recognize, uh, I don't remember which one it was, but this is Gunther. Yeah. The guy, yep. Yeah. And he approaches, and he right. like grabs his hat, and he goes, "Hey, what what you doing over here by the uh, by the wagon? The wagon way over there, that wagon. How far away are you guys? We were pretty far away. I'd say I was trying to the, say at least a block away. Sending the dragon in. That's why we were. Yeah. So he walks over, and he yeah. just is like, "Hey, what what are you guys doing? Who's uh, asking? Uh, me, Gunther. Looking for the captain of the guard. He's I, he's I, actually I, not paying attention to you. He's looking over at the." Keep. Isaac, I believe, is his name. Uh, Isaac Stranzi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's the captain. Yeah, so Do you see that thing over there? It's like a... Like a lizard or something. I figured it was with Rick and his cot mate. Uh, not that I know of. Uh, you know what? If you guys need anything, you guys can talk to my wife, Yelena. Your wife what, mate? Y Yelena. She sounds hot. She's she's quite nice. She's in my shop. Uh, I, I'll talk to you guys later. And he starts to walk over. Gunther. He starts to walk over. To oh, the hey, Gunther. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, yes, I'll get to you. Yes, yes, yes. Gunther and Jelena. This is their stockyard. Do you know Ricky? Yeah, I know Rick Tavia, yeah. Okay. He, he's like talking to you but walking backwards towards them. Uh, give me one second. Let me just check on the wagon while, while he's not here. And he's going to climb and go through. There looks like there's bars on the yeah. side. And she's going <laughs> to... Mm. Uh, you don't have athletics us, check? We can't see from make, Amity's Make an athletics say, check. Say, Amity's just going. Yeah, make an athletics see. check. He's he's over there and he, he tries to reach for her. 
Or, oh, or so like make a like re- so make a dex or what would that Which be? Which one is it? It's whatever. He's gonna try and reach for. Her. He sees her like crawling up. The hell? So so she's a got... He has to make athletics, got... and she can make an uh, athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the fuck? It's a movement. How do you see that shit? Oh man, that's forty feet. Oh, no, she's quick. quick. She's quick. But she's, she's he, only I will say he was approaching from behind the caravan towards you guys anyway, so he was already yeah, pretty close. Um, I'm sorry, what did you say I'm rolling? Either yeah. athletics or acrobatics. I think it's the same for her. Is it 10? Oh, I thought it was a natural 20. Damn, Damn I should have used my guidance book before. They're really excited. Ah, uh, 13. <laughs> Wait. Two ten. Yeah, it's 10. Looked a little bit like a 16 from this perspective. I know, though. It curls was, in. It was zeros away. Okay, so he reaches and he grabs onto her, but with her quickness, she slips out of his fingers and slips into the into the caravan, which you see kind of lurch forward a little. Are you bit. good over there? Uh, y- yeah. What going, what's going on, man? Do you need help? I- I'm just supposed to watch the wagon, and it just I don't know. Is there like a salamander or something? Yeah, like a lizard or something. I yeah, don't know. Fuck it, right? The wagon. Yeah. Yeah, what is in the wagon? I don't know. I'm just supposed to watch it so nobody, like, steals anything. Oh. Um, so you're concerned about salamanders stealing stuff? Do you well, often have... Well, I just don't want anything... Yeah, I just oh, okay, don't want okay, anything okay, going okay, in okay, there. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess if you don't know what's in there. I thought... Never mind. I just don't want anything going in there. Sure, 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 sure. Makes sense. Um, so sorry. she probably only exists so for about to ten more minutes. For you, I'm happy she, to. she only exists for probably about ten more minutes. But That's <laughs> fine. We can finish this talk with Gunter in a minute. Yeah. What do you have? Dark vision. Amity. Yeah. Uh, to, to be fair, I Amity is her own entity. I don't see through her like a familiar. Okay. So whether or not you want to tell me anything is your choice. Um, the I'm sure. Yes, she. Oh, does she have dark I'm sure she does. How do you? Before you send Amity in there. Uh, Angela went to put hopscotch on top of his head. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> you would like me to remove vermin for you. I'm happy to do so. You can watch me the whole time. Um, we just would charge you a couple of silver. No. I, yes, we yes, were just going to mention it was in fist. Rick Tavio could probably be the one. I'll let him know. Totally understand. Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah, I don't know what that was. What? what Darker than 60 feet. Roll perception. Your wife, y- Elena, yeah. in the store? Uh, it's not a store, just like a, a storage yard. The, 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 the front. front. Yeah. Bonus Absolutely. Of course. Do, she would, um, do you have any going about? Maybe I could ask her about if she's seen Isaac. Uh, I'm sure you could talk to her. We're we'll both here most of the time. Yeah. Sure. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm going to go in. Okay. <laughs> so what is it, wisdom? God, I can't we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that. Twelve? Twelve. Okay. Um. That's my every voice. Oh. Twelve, you said. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you don't. S- well, I won't tell you. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. After maybe. She's just gonna crawl around all the edges of it and like sort of. She can't initially see anything. Her she's supposed to inspect everything and then get back to you with any info. So generally crawling all over the walls and floors, seeing if she. Okay. Um, after maybe 15 seconds of being inside, uh, your discussion with Gunther kind of ends. He starts to kind of walk away towards, probably with you, Fiel, towards Yelena. And you suddenly see the, the whole wagon lurch forward again and then back. <laughs> and then you hear like a... <sighs> from the inside. And if Amity could yelp, she would... Yeah! <laughs> she probably can. And so. as quickly as she can, and unless say, unless you wanted her to do something else, no, she seems to be afraid of something in there and scurries out. Okay. She comes out. She <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Like a squirrel. Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. All right. All right. Uh, she's covered. Head. Her nails seem to have something on them. If you want to look. Yeah. Well, I don't want to be. Is the guy? Is Gunther running away? He's walking with Fjell. He's he's he he's has like, walked away, and then away, Amity comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Gunther's not all right, really all right, paying yeah, attention I'll do a quick to you. Little Gunther and Fjell have walked towards up to the sun. Like okay, make yeah. a make a nature. Can I make a nature track? Can I take a look? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm just holding around. Assist. A nature track. You can. What is nature in this? Wood? Oh, it's my stuff now. <laughs> what? Amity. Amity. She got shit on her nails. 
the, the cat one. What the fuck should you get into? Yeah. I'm just, I just am good at nature. Nice. Yeah. 18. It's intelligence in this. Nice. In this yeah, she's like, <laughs> um, uh, while they're doing that and Gunter is distracted, would I be able to sneak over and kill Peek inside the wagon? Ooh. Yeah, we'll get that after you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. 18. 19. <laughs> uh, so it's dried blood, but it's not her blood. It seems that as she was scurrying around the edges and inside, she, like, clawed up, there's just some dried blood. Is that surprising? I mean, I don't know. We know that Rictavio feeds whatever's in there, like, a, a fucking bag full well, hold of on, steaks a day. Or whatever Draconic sounds like. Uh, Emily, uh, what the hell is this? Yeah, what was um, in there? What, what is does her, Emily say? <laughs> what's her intelligence? She's a sentient, intelligent creature. So Your code eat. just sounds like Blue's Clues talk. It's decent. Okay, we can't. Like, can't we I mean, it's a Nate. It's a negative one, but she can speak. Okay, okay. This she sent him. She was like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I don't really want to go in there again. Amity, you good? You good? Are you talking to her? Yeah, you good? There's a fucking tiger in there. Fucking shit! There's a tiger in there. There's like a little steak, uh, uh, like little fillets. Little fillet like, bone. Yeah. Like what's the in a in a in a in a T bone? Oh, I don't know. There's like a little bone, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a T bone, and uh, man, it's got armor. Armor. It's our man. It's big. It wanted me out of there. I'm sorry. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Sorry. I'm sorry, we sent you in there. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, Was she wearing any kind of collar or identification? Um, a collar? Um, Can I I clean her up? Can I, can you want to clean (sighs) up? Just like, she was wearing some fitted armor. have to go get cleaned up. Some some armor. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta, up, up, yeah. I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go off the material plane. Yeah. Alright, well that's it. Daydrake! Yes. You are approaching the you know carnival wagon. Would you like to roll stealth for me? Yes, I would. Do it. Do it. Boom. Wow. It's been real twice. A six total. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, with your passive perception, you see people in the stocks, like 30 feet away in the middle, and two guards standing there watching you guys. Oh, was, was that perception or stealth? That was stealth, but they can see you. Oh, okay. What's you, up, what's up? Your passive perception. <laughs> <laughs> you. I okay. But you can approach, so they don't seem to move. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to approach and just look inside the bars and see what's inside. Okay, before you can make it to the bars, the wagon suddenly lurches again, as though something big has thrown itself against the inside wall. And you hear the cracking of wood, the scraping of metal, and the snarl of something inhuman. Uh, Deidre, what the fuck are you doing? Would you like to make an investigation check for me, please? Uh, yes. After I, uh, equip my great axe. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Deidre... Daedric. The guards at this point Daedric. pull their swords out. Yeah, hold on, hold on. He's with me. He's not, you know, right. I'm sorry. They hold start on. to approach. Daedric, Daedric, you just drew your weapon in, right next to the fucking prison. You know that, right? What's going on over here? He heard a noise, and he's easy to fright. I'm just going to have him put his weapon away. Weapons away, away yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Daedric, put the axe down, and let's go. Maybe. They walk, they're uh, maybe 20 feet. Do I get a quick glance before I walk Gun away? Gun roll, roll at disadvantage. Okay. There are maybe uh, 20, 15 ooh, feet away from you. can't do much worse than that. Yeah. Are you? Seven total. Okay, well, you don't really get to see what's inside, but on the outside, you do see the sides of the wagon are kind of spattered with dry blood. And you also see an inscription on the wagon's door frame, right before, like, you start to peek in, and then it lurches again. But the inscription reads, I bring you from shadow into light. That's cool. Hmm. The whole bit. What? Okay. That's my pass. Not even close. You're wrong. Any business over here in the stockyards? Yeah, no, he heard a scary noise. He got spooked. We're leaving. Best then. Be on your way. Mm -hmm. 
they sheath their s swords again. Daedric, what are you doing? I will follow my companions. Okay. Alright. Alright, not a lunch. Or no, fail is gone. When fails, get back. Daedric, I am all for the B and E. But dude, as someone who's only ever gotten caught in their attempts at B and E, you, you, that was not uh, <laughs> that was not the I, most I, I well executed what attempt. Like. That was precautionary. Uh, B and E, just let me take an X. I'm I'm confused. Oh, my nice. I am I'm so hungry. So I'm also hungry. I will say that before Amity went away, she did make it seem like there's not just a tiger in there. Yeah. Like there's a bunch of other shit in there, but. The tiger swatted at her, basically, and so she had to come out. Um, so there is other Gunther stuff in there. She not didn't. The security force. She didn't get a good look at it. Cool. Yeah. Can you tell me, tell Go. me again what the inscription was so I can write it down? Yes. It said, "I bring you from shadow into light," and sh shadow and light are capitalized. Interesting. Fiel, you are following Gunther into the main stock building. Mm -hmm. Okay, you do. Uh, you walk in, there's a little tiny counter at the front, and then a like a half wall that doesn't go all the way up, but you're in just a big barn warehouse building. Mm -hmm. You can't really see beyond, but you assume it's some kind of storage. Uh, a portly woman is sitting there. She's got like blonde ringlets. Um, and Gunther kind of walks in with you. Hey, Yelena, uh, did you need something, sir? Oh, just honestly looking to ask around. We've been... Me and my friends have been asking around for uh, longer than I care to admit at this point, but we uh, seem to have lost a friend of ours in, in town, um, and I'll describe Irina. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, Gunther kind of bids you all, he tells Yelena, I'm going to go talk to Rictavio real quick. Yes, of course. Sure. Uh, tell him I said hello. Uh, okay. From Fiel. Right. He heads off. Uh, wh what did you need? I'm sorry. No, it's it's fine. I'm uh, just at my, the end of my rope looking for information. Um, I seem to have lost my friend. Um, I was told to, and I'll, I'll describe Irina. Okay. Um, if you've seen them, um, probably not, based on the, I've asked around so much, but yeah. um, just given your proximity to the stockyards, I just thought I'd ask you if you've seen the captain of the guard. I pulled up the captain. Oh, Isaac? Yes. Um, yeah, he's here every once in a while. Um, he's just always checking in on the other guards. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. From what the other guards are kind of gossiping about, they think he's on house arrest. So, I don't know. Well, what would the captain be on house arrest for? Who so. knows? He probably angered the burgomaster in some way, probably insulted a festival or something, and the what? burgomaster's like... Stay in your room of until the festival and write me a hundred word essay on why I'm awesome. <laughs> I don't know. A hundred word essay. It's three sentences. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I'm no, a girl. Right, 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 right. oh. So. No, that's that's quite all right. I, I, I won't take up too much of your time, as I said. I'm just asking around. Okay. Yeah, Less. sorry. I'm going to be more help. Let me find your friend. Ooh. You tired? No, oh, it was a long evening last night. Oh, okay. All right. Well, my husband is really uh, the one who kind of takes care of all this if you need anything involving the stockyards. Well, thank you. Okay. No. Okay. All right, gang, so now what? We gotta go back for lunch. I'm Lunch sorry, is essential. I, I, I could use a nice little short rest, I think. It's maybe Agreed. 2 o'clock. Yeah, late lunch. We don't know if we're actually going to eat at this dinner. It could be one of those rich people things. It's a good point. It's a good you point. You eat, like, a little, like, this much meat on, like, a lettuce leaf, and they're like, go man. You know? Yeah. Better eat the filling stuff first, just in case. Yeah, Wouldn't want right. Diedrich to be hungry. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. All right, uh, back to the inn, then. Should so we just go back there and get lunch? Lunch and some card games. Yes. Lunch and, and some card games. Sounds great. Okay. You go back to the inn? Yeah. Okay. You're back at the uh, inn, Arwen and Danica. Yes. Never mind. Don't worry about it. I'll get to it later. Okay. Uh, yeah. Make it back. There's... Danica! Oh, hi! How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. How are you? 
I've been better, but there's right. my little Angelo. She like waves at you. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, for lunch. Yeah, yeah. Wolf steak for all. We got some soup. Um, do you have anything with more like carbs, grainy, like mm, potato soup? Pota sure, that sounds great. I could give you some bread too. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Wolf steak. Wolf bread. steak. Yeah. Yeah, Bread. they're all having fun. Sorry, good. Sure. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. I'll have the boys bring around something. Thanks. Anything to drink? Cuppa. Yeah, a cup would be great. Uh, water. Water sounds wonderful. Water. Any? Thank I'll have a water as well. Water. It's gay, Cuppa. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Well. Okay. Thanks, she thanks, she yeah. goes back to the kitchen. You guys may see. I think we should stay here for about an hour. Yeah, I agree. I think we have nothing to do until sundown, so... Yeah, well, actually an hour before An sundown. hour before sundown, you're right. But but close to it. So... Right, we have a couple of hours oh, we can take. We have plenty of things that we could do. Um, I think we have nothing I want to do until sundown. How much time is that? I feel like, three hours? Like, probably... Yeah, like... Uh, hours? Sundown's probably six. So we have an hour before that. So we probably have three hours, because Mallory said it was two o'clock when we were at the stock. Yeah, so I'd yeah. say about three hours until... The tailor shop is ready. This is actually perfect. And I need it. I say that we first over lunch, since we're all gonna be talking and hanging out anyways. I tell Angelo, and with some help from key players, about the wisest woman we've ever met in our entire lives is a collective. I speak for everyone when I say that. Madam Ava. I talked to you a bit earlier because we finally for sure like, cashed in on one of the cards she read us. So, we, um, actually, do you have a card? I do. Could you just, I actually never had to really see them. Yes. In, oh, yeah, we show Brian. She drew us five cards, and she knew us all, like everyone else who seems to meet us in this town. She knew us before we got there. You might have to tell me what fucking cards I love it. And she gave us a tarot card reading. I'm not sure if you're familiar with tarot at all. Um, uh, passingly, that sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know anything about it. And it was interesting because we didn't really even go in with a question or any intentions like sometimes they ask. It's like she already like, knew what we needed to hear. Okay, read me your cards, please. The first card she drew us was the philanthropist. Okay. This is the card of... Wait, just read them all to okay. me real quick. The second card she drew was the Avenger. The third card was the hooded one. The fourth one was the beast. And the dungeon. Gotcha. And the dungeon was the last There you one. go. In order. So that was the philanthropist. She, uh, I'm the sorry. Merritt Merit will describe them. I just... Yeah. Sorry. sorry what, 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 did you, what did you say now? I'm sorry. Merritt will describe them. I just wanted to go put ahead. them I will hold them up as you describe them. So the philanthropist, cool. the first card she drew, she told us it was always going to be about our history, our past. Like... And not just necessarily our past, but like the, the past of our journey and the knowledge we would need and about the enemy and the philanthropist and the history with the philanthropist seems to tie around a sickness and a madness from somewhere in our past, the journey's past in general. Secondly, um, this would be the card of hope of what is bringing us into the future with a uh, Passions. Is that the Avenger? And that's the Avenger, which, and this is pretty much the coolest card, because it, within the Avenger, we need to find the treasure within the dragon's house, and it sort of also signifies that within this hope, it somewhere in the journey, hands that were once clean will become or have become corrupted. Does it look like Irina at all? No. Okay. Just a, a lady. Just a lady clad in armor with a sword. Pretty cool. Then the third card she drew was the hooded one, a eh, Deidre. And this was known as like the weapon and the power we're gonna need along our journey to like guide us. Um, it's also known as the Sword of Light, and it's somewhere located, or we can find it, or something within the head of a giant statue at the Amber Temple. So we that have no. Mighty interesting. Yeah, it would be even greater to look for that temple on a map. 
We don't have one anymore. So that's a bitch. Again, my sincerest apologies. I that's really right. don't know what I could have done with that. Yeah, kind of dropped the ball on that one, to be honest, but that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one is the most recently known, and that's the Beast, and it's fucking sick as hell. This one's fucking terrible. Look at this one, Brian. Fucking sick as hell. Shit, that's some Bloodborne shit. Right it there. is some that's Bloodborne so cool. shit. And this is, this is the, the fourth card was, um, that she drew, was going to be the person ah! she, she told us would shed light and help I'm us. Wrong. <laughs> and that the beast would be a female werewolf who hates the devil. So, interesting point of order for who we met today and the name of said establishment, as I know previously mentioned. And the last card had everything to do with our enemy, the enemy of which we can assume but is not quite defined yet. And in that is in the dungeon, the dungeon card. Notably, notably spelled D O N J O N. Is it really? It's Don John. Don John. Don John. And, um,. That is um, somehow related to what is called the Hall of Bones. And that um, it's in the castle. And the castle, as we know, is very dangerous. And that's kind of all we know. And the only real lead we have on any of that that I can think of... Well, I mean, if you walk them through, there's a sickness and a madness. That is not really made itself evident. Can anyone think of any sickness or madness we've encountered so far? Mm. <coughs> Who are you pointing at, mate? My horns. Oh. Is that... Are you ill? There's a lot of, like, uh, mental instability around here. Could be a... <laughs> <laughs> could be, like, a mental health analogy. Uh... Uh, he's damaged, it okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was it, this card again had to do with like the history of the area. There's or, evidence like, of yeah. mental health issues all throughout history. I was they thinking more of like vampirism as an illness. Progressivism but, like, to diagnose. What was your first record. card? The, the philanthropist. I only knew it was like sickness and madness. What do you say? I'm from Baltimore, not the one. I I mean I've only been in town for a little while, but I think the most historical or oldest thing I'm aware of is a cow. Uh, I, Maybe it's related to him, but that might be a bit on. I don't know. I'm not sure. Then the treasure in the dragon's house. I unfortunately don't know who we've identified as a dragon yet. Not to say that many houses around here couldn't have any treasure, other than myself, obviously. Um, and hands that were once clean could be corrupted. Now, which corrupted. makes me think of the Burger Master because. A lot of people don't like him, and maybe he used to be a good guy, and he's not anymore. But I don't know that he would identify himself as a dragon. Maybe Irina. Wait, Why wait, was what tried? was your first card? The philanthropist. And what notes did you have? Um, well, before she even drew the card, she told us it would be a card about like the history and knowledge of the enemy. And then she drew it, and all I wrote was sickness and madness. Okay. She said... Look to a place where sickness and madness are bred, where children once cried, the treasure lies still. For the Avenger, I will refresh your memory. The treasure lies in a dragon's house and hands once clean, now corrupted. Yep. What was the last, this next one? Uh, that hooded one. one. That one. The hooded one. Uh, it's the Sword of Light and the head of a giant statue of the Amber Temple. That one I think is pretty much on the head. And then the beast. A werewolf holds a secret hatred for your enemy. Use her hatred to your advantage. Right. And then, and then the, dungeon. the dungeon. He lurks in a hall of bones in the dark pits of his castle. Yeah. So I got. So. Zelda, any of that good, good any bells to anybody other than the obvious castle and the obvious beast? I would fucking love to know. The philanthropist. Yeah. Children once cried. Could be like uh, a mother's war, uh, a crib. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If it's locked up. Do you remember that... I was thinking the bone grinder. That pile of children's teeth. Yeah, the bone grinder. That's what I was thinking too, mate. What were you thinking? Rictavio. What? Wait, he makes children cry. It's a circus. It's supposed to make children happy, but... Um... But sickness and madness? 
It's all there's a fucking tiger in there. Mm-hmm. Also, this is the longest we've sat in this place that Rick has been. There was an actual tiger in there? A what? You say there was a tiger in there? Yeah, there was, mate. That's what Emily told me. That's why I didn't tell you before this exact moment when we were hundreds of yards away. But it was an armored drag or an armored tiger. I think it was a um a beast of burden and like a you know like a rah kind of thing. Yeah, you would notice no one else is in the bar, and Octavio has not snuck up on you. Yeah, exactly. Ricky hasn't been here. Perhaps yet. because Gunther was telling him something. Uh, perhaps snow- it's... snuck into his little cart. That's I don't know. Business. Maybe. That's not my business. No one's snuck in. No one's snuck in. A little lizard was no, sneaking he around. No one's snuck in. <laughs> Even yeah, but no, it's like no one's really around. Cat. Eventually, Danica brings you your food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, it's alright. You're so, welcome. So, head of a giant statue. We've seen many giant statues. I don't know if it we means. have seen some giant statues. Maybe but we, we don't need, know what they were. We need to go back. But it's the, it's the giant statue at it's the, the Amber one. Temple. Mm. Yeah. So maybe that's just a consistent architectural choice of Barovia. We have seen lots of giant guys. But, there's, uh, but also, does it mean literal giant? You know, like, his kind? Or just giant as in large? What's the name of the uh, waitress? Danica. Danica. Uh, I'm going to call her over And she's quick. co-owner. Yoo-hoo! Thank you. How can I help you? The waitress. Have you heard of That's what Blinsky looks like. Third temple? Hmm. I have it. Maybe me husband has. Couldn't tell you. Any other information? No. I know about Egg and Volstolt. That's a little bit east. That's where the boys like to hunt. But uh, it's no temple. Why do they like to hunt? There's lots of wolves out there. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Easy pickings. Yeah. It's a haunted mansion, you know. Oh, I, ooh. I didn't know. Oh. Well, now <laughs> you know Egg and Volstolt. The good. boys are going up there in so two days' time. There's lots of wolves just hanging about this... Well, I think there's wolves everywhere, but if they're out for a few days, they like the shelter. Uh, they prefer the shelter of the haunted mansion. Any shelter at all, yeah. But it's the next closest place. Other than Kresk, which is a bit further of a walk. They don't, like, take shelter in Old Bone Grinder or anything? That's pretty close. Oh, no. No one goes to Old Bone Grinder. I was just curious. No, it's I called Old anything. Bone Grinder. Well, you refer to this as Haunted Mansion. Is that better? Yeah, but it's <laughs> cute, you know. Yeah, so I thought uh, Bone Grinder was cute. <laughs> no, man, the uh, the boys are going out uh, day after the festival. They're leaving in the morning. Usually gone... Uh, Fiel, you knew that. Usually gone for... Uh, going on a big adventure with the boys. I don't know. A few days at a time before they bring us back our next, our next uh, haul. Angelo, have you um heard anything about this Amber Temple? You came in a different way than us, I think. You didn't come through. What was the town we called? Barovia. Barovia. Oh, duh, duh, duh. I don't think. <laughs> did you go through Barovia? You came straight here. Right, that's correct. I, I'm not familiar with the tower of all. This is the first I've heard. What about, Sorry, I was going to say, did you pass giant gates with giant broken statue guys? Uh, no, but I kind of wish I had. That sounds like that would look really, really cool. It did look really cool. Danica, are there any giant statues or perhaps statues of giants that are known to be in this area? Mm. No giant statue of a giant, but a big old dragon sculpture right in front of Ogdenvold Salt. Oh, what? Yeah. Say that again. Slow Big old dragon sculpture action. in front of Ogdenvold Salt. In oh, front of the man. haunted mansion. Yeah. Where the wolves are. Eh. I wouldn't say the wolves are in the mansion, but they're in the woods, which is where the mansion is. It sounds like we are going to kill so many birds with one stone. Not literally. Not literally. Not literally. Yeah. We won't literally and kill birds. Yes. Be respectful. Hey, DM, could you, uh, that is a good you just spell the name of this mansion? Yes. Argen Vosthold is spelled A. <laughs> Let me... I didn't mean to be insensitive. I'm there you go. No, I wasn't listening. I will do Hold better. on. Sorry, I was on the wrong chapter. Hold on. Scrap paper Pieces out of, of scrap paper with one little, flip, with one little one little zippo. Chapters are not in order. A R G Y N V O S T H O L T. R G Y N V O S T. Halt. H O L T. 
Argen Vost Holt. RG Biv. Roy G. Yeah, Biv. Like <laughs> Roy G. Biv Mansion. Oh, fucking shit, balls and ass. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> that just made me think. Sorry, Danica, I must have sensibility. My goodness. Sorry, you got kids about it, I forgot. Um, hey, upstairs, take it or not. I've been the last hope. The dra- tra- treasure of the dragon's house. Yeah. That's. That was I... my realization like five minutes ago. <laughs> That's why I said. Sorry, oh, I don't oh, really yeah, know if there's I a dragon stop to that. The boys are like to, you know, they, no, they tell you know, stories and stuff. Maybe it's not real. You said that's what you wrote for investigation sergeant. I don't know. I never flown out there. I never been over there. Never walked over there. Any your boys? My boys? Yeah. The boys? The the hunters or my boys? Your boys. Mm. I know you got one word. It's probably dragon. My little my little boys. They they're not quite there yet. But um but yes. No, we keep them away from there. That's really wolf ground. Oh. Um. Do your nothing really interesting over there. Friends have. Trouble avoiding the wolves? Because that's um, terrifying a whole nother level. Maybe up by Cresc, up north, no, not north, like northwest. If they fly to you out of the cities, um, we keep them by the winery, which is out there, and yeah. then out by Cresc. We don't really keep them out in the, in the wilderness or anything yeah, because yeah. of all the monsters. And we have so many things to do. Mm-hmm. The monsters. Um, there yes, are terrible dear. werewolves in these parts. Hmm. That's interesting. At least, um, used to be lots of werewolves before, for, uh, I think before any of us. Really? Well, not before me. I was about a little kid. Stories, you know, mum and dad tell you stories about the werewolves. Right. Less werewolves since, uh, since, uh, the castle on the hill was, uh, occupied. I don't think I understand. Has it been centuries? Yeah. Oh, the big guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's been around for longer than all of us. You don't think he has anything to do with the disappearance of the werewolves? Uh, probably not. I feel I did hear, especially from the boys. But again, they tell these stories, and not my boys, the wolf boys, the hunters. You know, they used to hunt in a group in a pack, um, and there was a rival hunting group up from Cresc, and uh, not a lot of game around here. So there's a bit of a, a bit of a fight between them, and then. Time went on, our boys, our boys are the hunters for Valaki at least. Meat. But they hunt dire wolves, not werewolves. There's a difference in the meat. I would assume. That's a lot. I've never seen a werewolf, but yeah, raven me meat and where raven meat is different, so I would assume there's a difference too. Is that what you consider yourself? I consider myself the co owner. Of an amazing establishment here in Baloki. Sure, I do too. But I just well, thanks. You brought you said where Raven. I didn't say where Raven. Or where rat or where cheetah or where tiger or where Where's Waldo? Where who is Waldo? That's a good question. Head of a Walter? Oh yeah, Vistani man. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. Have you ever seen a were tiger? No. All stories to me. Have you? Not yet. My told Britavio, he's got an awful lot of stories. He does have a lot of stories. Pretty good storyteller, that one. Yeah, you seen him today? Past after we left? Mm. He came in and got a bag of uh, wolf steak like he usually do, and then, well, he'll probably be back before around dinner time. And oh, then for think, bed. I don't think we're staying that long. We have dinner plans. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we met the Walkers. Oh. Excuse me. All right. Okay. Yep. And you're going there for dinner? Yep. Should we be worried about that? Yeah. Oh. Well, this just got interesting. <laughs> Maybe not as bad as, um... <sighs> she looks around. I know my husband has told you a little bit about our boys. Our good old boys. But, um... It's a lot going on in this town other than you guys. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I would just, um, as long as the lady knows that you are anti burgomaster and not anti. Uh, you're on her side. She's a big fan of Anne? Big fan. Why? That doesn't even make any sense. Well, honestly, I don't blame her. Burgomaster is the one causing all the problems around here. Right. But big you... guy. Who even knows if he's still around? I don't. Yeah, so then why would you be a fan of? <laughs> 
Some people say, and she looks at Angelo for a quick second and then looks back, big guys with lots of power can gift a little bit of that to some people. Oh. You got a little something on the side. You got a little something on the side. So. You didn't hear that from me. No, uh, of course didn't. not, Danica. Wait, um. You. It's not. You and your birds. Keep quiet about my birds, but go on. Of course. Her cats. Yeah. Are they cats? What else would they be? Well, you'd be like, you know, the birds. Where are cats? No. <laughs> Not Walter. After her husband died, she got all sad. Got some cats, that's all. And um, she's got those two boys, like herself. Uh, yeah. Right, they're not very popular. Giving me a pretty penny for all them their drinks they're drinking, but also some problems, I, fe I fear. Just the two kids? Uh, Carl and Nikolai Jr., and then I think she had a daughter at one point, but we haven't seen much of her lately. Right. Okay. Went crazy or something. Yeah, something like that. That's the word on the street. Okay, thank you very much for your company, Les. Yeah, anything yeah. else? Should we go up to the room and rest no, for should, a bit? Should, so you ever find your friend? No. No. Um, Haven't heard nothing from... Pity. That sounded suspicious. It wasn't specific. <laughs> That's suspicious. Pity. Inside check. Pity. That, is, that is why we went to talk to Walter, because we we're oh. looking for more She does have a way, her way around town, right, so, so I guess she's not a bad idea. And she said that she might have, she was going to do some, like, looking around, and 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 that she was she wanted to talk to us more about the issue. Sure. I'm and, sure. Oh, that's what you're going for dinner. I'm sure yeah. she'll talk to you about it. Just keep your, keep your eye open. Keep your feet on the ground. Uh, nice. Not a fan of the Burger Master. Nobody's got a feud like them. Yeah, so so I told you right that the Burger Master invited us to be at the, the, yes, the festival. Yes, uh, I believe you did. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. So if that comes up, would she be pissed? Like, Would that like set her off? Or would she just be like, oh, I don't think it's a very good idea, love. Are you and mocking then, me? What? You're mocking me? No, I'm mocking yeah. her. She's got a very different accent than I'm that. very bad at accents. Clearly. is pretty strong. All right. Well, <laughs> no, I'd say as long as you weren't like, we're going to talk, we're going to talk nice about the Burgermaster. See, I'm pretty good at them, That's too. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, because we like him. Yeah, we don't like him. All right, we'll just let her know that. All right, cool. She's not above um, a little bit of white lie to get somewhere in the town, you know? Yeah. So if that's what you're doing, I'm sure she'll... On yeah, we from one to ten. How much she doesn't like the Burgomaster? Ten! Enough to kill? Absolutely, I, I feel. But that is it. I, She's I, not. I think she was. I think she was conspiring with us earlier. I'm pretty sure she's going to kill us. Yeah, I think we're actually going to have dinner to to like conspiracy plan the assassination of the burgomaster. I would talk to her, but she's <laughs> she's not gotten yeah, anywhere. If that's I her goal. That is valid. That is and you will, that is probably going to be your role through dinner as well. So this is yeah. probably fine. <laughs> you did a great job not killing those cats. Not a single one was hurt. I'm very proud of you. That is true. Not a single cat was harmed. Do you have any lumber? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yes. No, not for you. Deidre. What do you need that lumber for? Deidre. Deidre. We're surrounded got, by woods. I gotta teach you some things, right? Oh, for it. <laughs> Okay. You know, my, my uh, inn is made of Would wood, like so should some? I keep you out of here? I mean, between Dietrich go... and Fiel, I'm pretty sure they could both just go to town punching a tree and they'd have tons of lump. I don't want any destruction in my inn! No, you just rather shoot at them from a, inside of a church. That is true. No more talk of destruction! Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's like fucking three days ago, mate. It's burned into my brain. You all have a fucking nuts one. Did you shot into the darkness for next to Turns out it was. No, 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 I don't want to hear it anymore! Yeah, anyway. It's fine, we're fine. We didn't do it. We're not going to do anything here. Of course. This you is, better not. This is a fine establishment. Yeah. We, we would never. You better never. <laughs> I'll kill you. Danica, I I'll fucking you. kill you. Danica, Bollocks, you. mate! I believe you. Alright, soup freak. <laughs> Oh, I got shit to do! Yep. She likes right, off. One, one last question. What? 
Where could I buy fishing equipment? Oh my god, I don't know, Dr. Bluto, what do I look like? I sell the wine and I kiss the chef. That's all my job is. That's the apron too, guys. Read the apron. Kiss the cook. It's okay, I'm sorry I shouted. Right. Right. It's alright, we all need a nap. We all, it's been a long couple of days. I think we gotta go upstairs. Wild. We'll do some deep breathing. Everyone will mind their own business for a little bit. Fial, Angelo, have you? Fial's gonna oh, look yeah, around the room for this map. Never mind. I was, yeah. gonna, I was gonna ask if you met Sparky, but I brought Sparky out. Yeah, I did. did it's okay, I don't no, really need him. To see no, no, no. Well, Angelo, not Are you, are you familiar with the Lavage? Pardon? No. Okay. What? Can I get back to work? Yeah, I'm sorry. Very yeah. busy in here with all the people. Uh -huh. There's no one else in the no, bar. Yeah. Go on, you're fine. All right. You're tired. All right. I get it. Angel of Rose thinks again, Annika. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Give a little poke of cheek and use press the vegetation make a little heart go boink. Aw, she comes over and like kisses you on the forehead. I like this one. Why don't you all be like this one? She walks off. No more Danica. <laughs> because I have an 8 in charisma. <laughs> Goodbye, Danica. <laughs> I have an 18. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's been about an hour. It's been an hour or two hours? It's hour? been about an hour. Fuck! An hour. So we have like Only two, two hours. hours. We have two hours left. Oh, we do? Yeah. Great. I need two hours. Okay. I'm going to dig a bitch with boys. Uh, right. I mean, sitting in the room and never talking to anyone. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit in the room as well. And, uh, you need to look for the map where you need me to turn this room over on every mattress, on every pillow. We can do that tonight. I'm just doing it now. we got two hours. What are we doing? What are we doing? You want to do anything else for two hours? Actually, I have a job for you. Do you have one of your little rocks? Of course. Great. I need you to take out one of your little rocks. And is there a room for like m m serenity, chill vibes? Peace, maybe. Where's East? What? East. Meaning. Lost room, be very chill vibes. No, uh, 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 in a that, in a was piece. Was that a joke? He's, I told him to work on it. <laughs> it was good. It was good. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I need it for like think. Like um, like meditation maybe. Oh, meditation. Or like, There's gotta be a meditation. Yeah, like thoughts. Right. And prayers. There Rude. is um calm. Yeah, Zen. Zen yoga. Vibes. Zen yoga. Or something that to you represents that. Right, so that's the problem. Yeah, give me a give me <laughs> You're the, giving me a very abstract. I'm guessing thought the giants weren't very big on like. It's so supposed to be. I mean, the, 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 my, my immediate thought is Helic, which is the sacred room, which is the, supposed to be the room that connects closest to divinity. Yeah, that could work actually. Because obviously, I don't want any power with it. What are your other thoughts? Well, from there, it's up to the interpretation of. I mean, people people find clouds to be calming, so you could go with sky, the cloud room. People find the storms to be calming. I find fire to be calming. You go with no, ill. No. But like, you could have like the, like the, the calm of the mountain. My namesake, Fiel. Um, no, it's weird. <laughs> not, not your name, but <laughs> like, like if go I with I, you... go with hell. What was the place? Where, yeah, but I don't want like. Does it mean like? Does it mean like? Is that a reference to a specific god? Yeah, or, or is it general... just like reverence? Does it mean more like reverence? Mm -hmm. That'll That's actually pretty good. good. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. I don't, I don't even like, know what you're going for. I just put it on this rock here. Yeah. Okay. You've got two hours. And then after that, no, I need another one. <laughs> oh. But I'll let you You've got that one, one hour. <laughs> you got one hour to do that one, and in that hour, I'm going to be tinkering. Okay, perfect. Uh, go ahead and roll your little sinker check. If we're, if we're short resting, I'm going to bring out uh, Sparky. Okay. Staying out there. Cool. You guys back in your room. Back up to this room, um, Angelo's going to be uh, ritual casting ceremony, and um, cool. we'll be making a vial of a uh, holy one. Awesome. Very cool. Nice. I don't remember where anything is, you guys. So if you guys remember, I think this was stepped over a little bit last time, but the four of you guys have a room with four beds, and Angelo, you have a room, like, kind of in the Yeah, same we're just hallway. in the big room with four beds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ha, 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 ha. 
You're all welcome to come stop by if you like. I'll just be hanging out. No, 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 no. You stay in our room. We'll all hang out together. Yeah, bye. Oh, all right, that's, that sounds, that sounds mighty. I don't even fucking know. If we're too loud for you, you can leave, but I don't anticipate us being super loud. Anyway. I need to use Tinker's tools. Look at I can't find it on my Dexterity. Oh, tinker, yeah, Tinker's tools. Plus your... It's plus proficiency? Yes. yes, because you're proficient in them, but the tools, the check... Is literally anything Mallory wants it to be because they're tools. Uh, I got it's all that. Usually dexterity. So dexterity plus my proficiency, which is now a three. This plus six. Nine? So that's a 15. Okay, what are you trying to make? On my end, it sounded like you didn't roll the die. It sounded like you just rolled a dice tray. <laughs> like a lot of it didn't. Oh. Um, I'm making. Okay, so what I want to make is something that looks like it's like um a little like. Screw, like not screw, but like a little, what are those called? Uh, nuts? Is that what those are called? The little things that are like at the bottom of things? Like nuts and bolts? Yeah. Is that a nut that's like a little yes, spinny the spin, thing? The, the circular yeah, part that yeah, goes on the bolt. The, 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 the nut is the nut. Yes, yes that's the, what I mean. The, yes. So like a little nut and then the some of the. Bolt. What is the other stuff I got? Oh, like a bit of the scrap, well, a bit of the wire, the copper wire um, in a. Cork screw that's probably like, and then another nut, another nut at the end, that, like to sort of tie it around the wire. And then on that, like, I'm gonna take some of the scrap metal and sort of like twist it so it looks like a little, thank you, a little like propeller mm -hmm. with like pretty wide like little things. So that like, in theory, if you like, like held it one way, the propeller would like spin down. If you held it the other way, it would spin back. Down, oh yeah, kind of a thing. Yeah, like just a very. Yeah. Basic, like just it literally just metal spinning on metal. Yeah. <laughs> Wing! And then, and then that's my fist hour. Okay. okay. I would say you with a fifteen, you successfully are able to do so. Okay, so it moves. Yeah. Okay. When you turn it down, and then my second hour, I'm also going to be tinkering. A different something. No. Ooh, even better. That's an eighteen. Okay. What are you making? I am making a little, like a little, some of the, it's pretty shitty on the outside, but I already had some of the little tools. I just have to look up little tools. And um, I'm going to say, Phil, I need another rune for my box. This one might be even harder than the last one. I am at your beck and call. Thank you. I right. see exactly how I, I like my rune guy. I need a rune. For sound, you know, music, noise, voices, talking. Thunder? Uh, is there a thunder rune? I thought there would be. Or like instrument? Is there a guitar rune? Or like a like a like a spoken word poetry rune? <laughs> the arts, rain maybe. Interpretive dance rune. Right, right. <laughs> Is there a storm rune? Would storm work? Because I bet there's a storm rune. You gotta think bigger picture. You can't just go for like instrument. I could, actually, if I asked my rune god. These runes are like fire and stone and music is life one of the oldest things. Death. One of the oldest things. Yeah, but it's not like a, a, a creation of the universe, of like the world. I guess neither is well, I guess in this universe it is. I was going to make a jab sacred being religion and that being entirely man-made, but there are physical representations of gods. gods in this world. <laughs> I... Whatever your interpretation of music would be. Bird could work? Bird song. I could do... Too soon to talk about any bird song. Human interpretation. Um, there are there are young runes, and then there is um, then there is there is a derivative of sort mm. of of young speech. I believe and there was a brief history lesson we had about the, the Futhark in the elder language thereof. Um, mm -hmm. They are those that took. Uh, Jotun runes and uh, attempted to develop them into what we now know as a um, language of the arcane um, being dying to speak. Um, I can use that language, that which is, is resemblant of runic structure, sure. um, to 
possibly give you something like there are there are there are ways to interpret it as as um, as decipherable uh, language that can be interpreted in very literal senses. But there is also, if you hearken back to the earlier versions of the language when it was first being translated over from um, the original Yotun runes, mm. more abstract ideas being captured um, because it was found that you know the, the entire world does not exist within the material, and therefore. Uh, the runes that were expressed just that was limiting. Um, mm -hmm. So, joy mm -hmm. would be the, the common oh, word for it. Be a good one, yeah. Actually, that'd be perfect. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, do it. Weird, do it on the top thought. of this box. Be very careful. It's very like uh, shitty metal, so don't press too hard. Just enough to like scrape it's it in. Actually, very simple. Elder Futhark is incredibly simple. Great. That's what I mean. Um, it is a weird thought to consider. Like, not all of the world is uh, not all of the world is here in the material, and that's totally true. You should know that more than me. Right, right. But here's the deal: the material is infinite, as is, uh, which is which is not true for many other planes of existence. There are borders to a lot of planes. There isn't a border to the material. That's what makes it so unique. It and like the astral kind of fall in the similar vein in that sense, and then a lot of the higher planes do, but fuck that. I mean, Limbo is one of them. It's also infinite, but it's weird to think of, like, different infinities and the fact that there, you know, it's like thinking about how there's an equal amount of numbers between one and two and one and a hundred and one and infinity. It's, you know, it's like different infinities, though. And then you get into, like, countable infinities versus uncountable infinities, and then your main... Yeah, you back down with that, Phil. Uh, <laughs> Phil, how's the box coming, mate? Just give me a moment. Okay. Because there's a countable infinity, which is like the number of numbers between that. one and okay. infinity, but then there's uncountable infinities, which is the number of numbers Antelar, between one and two. are you two. in the room, mate? Uh, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm over here. I'm just sitting here staring into space. You know where I learned all of that from Sparky, because he's very intelligent. <laughs> I, as my new appointed favorite... Say something else. <laughs> as my new favorite, and as, a, as an official member of the Merits Marchman, as the... Um, you had a request. And normally, I've been making these sort of off the cuff, but I like that you had a very specific idea. Um, and I sort of incorporated your idea with my idea. So, bear with me. I made you this topsy-turvy. And it's pretty basic in, in, in theory, but it's very, I find it very intriguing because you, you turn it um, one way, and you see this little propeller, and then you turn it upside down, and it'll spin and spin and spin and spin. Or you can just sort of like flick it with your hands if you need something to do with your hands and just watch it and see how fast it'll go up. And then you can turn it down and flick it and it'll go faster down. And it can be just something really simple to keep your mind occupied. And um, the rune on it, it's actually really cool. It might be kind of cool because you mentioned the whole glowing thing. And then uh, Danica mentioned like getting power and other things. So it might be a cool tie in there you could tie it into. And the rune actually looks really cool. It looks like that. Oh, you are yeah. blurry as fuck. Okay, well... Wait, oh, uh, I had it for a second. <laughs> squiggles, basically. It looks like yeah, squiggles. Actually and it looks <laughs> really cool whenever you spin it, especially. You can the sacred room, if you want to. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Natural one. Oh, uh, too. And it looks really cool when you spin it. But also it would be really cute is... And I pull out... Well, I'm just going to say that I had this for fun. Because I think it's fun. But now I can tell me not. This little thing of, like, tack... Like, just like hard tack. Yeah. Just like a little. You have fucking like, hard tack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, paste, not paste. What a tack, right? Is that what that's called? Hard tack is like a card cracker. No, 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 no. I'm mean, no, Sticky no. tack! Sticky tack! <laughs> sticky tack! Sticky tack! Hard, the opposite of hard tack. The opposite. Just yes. like a little binding sure, agent. Sure, yeah, some sticky tack. A binding agent. And I thought it'd be really cute sometimes if you put this on that uh, shell you have for hopscotch. So that, like, this just that every once in a while, he had, like, a little propeller, but it wouldn't take him anywhere. <laughs> My original idea was going to make him a new little shell with a propeller anyway, and I figured this is, like, you could fuck with it, but then also, like, sometimes, the flair, you could put it on hopscotch as, like, a... Just give him, you know, make him feel good about himself. And and Angelo takes it and, like, begins looking at it, spinning it, and he's like... This is one of the most wonderful things I have ever seen. Yeah, and it gives, and gives you a big hug. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, thank you. It's the best time we've gone in years. Pixel. And also, 
Um, Fjell says it's, like, sacred now or something. That's what fe- runes do. You put a rune on something and it's imbued with m- magic and I shit. I actually think he said exactly the opposite. No, because you were saying Blinsky was fucking around <laughs> with runes and shit and that gives them power. So well, that's the thing. I make with runes are powerful. That's what Fjell said. No, he can't dispute no, it because he's no, making this No, I think it's more me. of, like, a meaning thing. I think it's, like, an understanding, like... Like, Dode means death, and the fact that he could inscribe Dode from memory is terrifying. Not oh, necessarily that the inscription of said If you give everything. meaning to religion, it has meaning. So it's sacred and all the things Fiel said about the room. Fiel, you, you, got, you finished with your box. The room is Helic, the sacred room. Um, I, I have to ask. Whatever you would like it to mean, there is no magical power there. I, on Yet. that on that note, Actually, that is true. Um, Angelo, do you give meaning to religion? I'm curious. Uh, well, I mean, personally, my my powers are from a divine being, and you, you know what I mean? I think it's not too different from religion, it's just that I have my own little, kind of like a friend, that helps me out. The smallest. Like right. Sparky. Yeah, kind of Sparky. Like, like Pico. Sparky divine? No. Sparky is not divine. Is Amity divine? You know, all dragons are divine. I don't think so. You know, well, I can't even. Not this the is why it's my favorite. You Ad are course. running out of <laughs> yes, it's uh, like, walking time. Just say, so you guys know. Yep. DM. Yes. During all this, could I have done my shopping trip? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, without the purposes of of role playing, uh, yeah. you just got what you sent me, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. One one gold. Okay. Cool. Suspicious. Yes. All right, real quick, real quick, because we gotta go. Phil, uh, open your box. I'm gonna make a. Oh wait, I did. It was an 18. Yes, you're fine. Phil, open that box. Delicately, it's very, de- very delicate. You've got giant hands. Fuck, I should have made it bigger. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I made it to my own proportions. Mm-hmm. It's like the size of a tuna can. So you're like <laughs> real delicate. <laughs> And when you open it, a very, very, very simple version of the song that was playing as we danced, as they danced around the, in the camp, in the Velaki camp that you Vistani. were like telling stories to. The Vistani. Just a very like, ding, 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 Starts playing. And it's like, it'll only play that for like, so you're around less than a minute. And only like, at a time, and you gotta close it for a little bit. Give us some time to like cool down. What is you know your whole culture bit? I was like, oh, in like five hundred years, when you're like middle aged, you'll be like, this is remember the time, <laughs> and it'll take you back to that campfire. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's just on the first go round. Right? I mean, he's got that cool ass beard, so that didn't just happen in a day. So he's got to be old, pretty old. Well, beard is out of respect for, for yourself. What? what for who? He looks down at his ass. Maybe his maybe wife had a beard thing. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> How can that be correct? I think that the axe was somebody that he killed, and that he kept, and that person had a beard, and so he's respected, like, you know, the honor of combat. Mm. This was the most noble warrior I ever fought, so I wear their facial, fa- fa- facial hair, and I carry their axe as a sign of honor and... Please stop me when I'm yeah. correct. Um, I will stop you when you're correct. Damn it! <laughs> I, was right. I was right about the beard thing. I was right. Um, and also, and now it has the power to make you happy because you put the joy ring on it, and that's how powers work. Well, I. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> he stopped me when I was right. All right. What are we doing now, guys? That was very cute. Let's go to dinner. I'm hungry. I returned back to the tavern. Yeah. Oh yeah. Deidre, Where did you go? Did Deidre, you leave? Deidre, you didn't get a deep in. Uh, what's your backstory question from Tane? Quain, quick, come up with one. Um, um, Make it about oh, his teeth. Last, well, last time I asked about those, he got very upset, and then you got very judgy for me asking. No, so what the fuck, yes? No, he asked about the horns on the teeth. The teeth are very separate. <laughs> I'm going to dinner. <laughs> Angelo, you're with me. Oh, no, we gotta go pick up. A I know we gotta go pick up the cloak, and then we're going to dinner. But fuck. I like. I want my sword. Come on. Okay. Diedrich, I'm not asking you about your teeth. <laughs> I like you more. <laughs> Alright. I think we made uh, our way to the tailors. Sean and Bryce said he doesn't like you. He says it like this. <clears throat> I hate you less. There you go. I was going to say, that's a step up. Like, 
All right, to the tailor shop you go in. Um, you open the door. Lauren is sitting there. Uh, Lottie's sitting there too. They're both wiping. One of them. Let's go for two. They're wiping their foreheads off with like little handkerchiefs, and in front of you, displayed very elegantly on uh, five mannequins. <laughs> to count in my head, I might even guess where. Um, Lottie goes, "Oh." You guys are here just in time. We just finished. Um, she walks over to the first mannequin, which is actually sitting on like two crates, like two boxes, so it's much taller. And it's got this flowing, elegant, nice dark brown cape um, that over the he's chewing on a toy that over the the breast, like it folds over with like um, a nice light tan like fur. What are you laughing at? Okay. Um, like a nice fur, and she points to you and she goes, "Um, this this is for you." Ah, it's lovely. Thank you. Uh huh. And then the next one is a smaller children's mannequin with a nice little dress. There are some modifications. Um, she did seem to like loosen it a little bit and add ties to the back so it can maybe fit over armor or you can tighten it and put armor on top. And she, um, did you have Amity out when you were there? You did, didn't you? Yeah, when she was in here. She uh, actually embroidered like, like a single line drawing of like a dragon on the back. So it's just like one stitch kind of and it's got like the the My two legs but it also head. has it also has like stitch wings. So it's not a drake, it's a dragon no, just on the back. Seduce, Lauren, <laughs> and uh Kane, you are presented with a um uh, like a nice pelted jacket and embroidered with like a maroon and a mahogany are like these flames that kind of wrap around the jacket and as you shift in the light they're like iridescent so they reflect in the light and they just reflect just real si like subtly like a bright yellow um angelo you are presented with like the softest most cozy white <laughs> scarf and if you like like stroke the ends of it it's got two pockets at the end oh, so you can like yeah. stick your hands in the pockets you can put your hands. <laughs> And Daedric, you are presented with um, a nice, dark, shiny black uh, cape and cowl. And the cowl actually has, like, a fold that looks like it's maybe for, like, winter weather. But it folds over your face, so all you can really see are the eyes. And it's just, like, a gorgeous, shiny black. And it goes... Probably as far as the current one you're wearing, um, but it's like nice and embroidered on the edges with like a silver thread, so it's not like tattered or anything, but it's like embroidered on the bottom. Wow, guys, I am so. Do you guys have a changing room, or just like a honestly a closet? I can. I just we could go around around back if you want. Yeah, it's fine with okay. me. Okay, they they walk around back. All right. Or you guys could go in the back. It's just our, our storage. Oh, yeah, I'll go in the back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I just sure. Want to, just didn't want to strip in There are some, some points. You they, they're, you. No, that's no. okay. <laughs> but there is one point in which you guys are in a room by yourself, so you can change. Yeah. This is uh, the you, you are very... I am very proud. This is very good. Do you say that to them? Yeah, this is, this yeah, they is just, like, impressive as hell. Smile at you. Yeah, this is, like, the best thing. Yeah, I'm really sorry it couldn't have been more. We just, it's such a time crunch. Yeah, when we, if we have more time here, which, uh, can't, should we, do we not, I don't know. This is very fun work you guys do. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for coming. See, you look very good, Angelo. White is really your color, really makes you, like, even shine, shine even more a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. I like to be, I like to glow a little. Michael. Okay, I got, okay, so I've got, like, a dark, kind of, like, mahogany-ish red, and then, like, some, 
accents of like almost goldish orange it's yellow. like a it's like a maroon mahogany like color and you can if you're looking closely you can see the stitching of the embroidery but you really can see it if you're shifting in the light because it like cool, reflects cool, like a yellow cool, 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 cool. can i say that there's like a little clasp on it yes cool <laughs> I was like, because I'm building it in here. I know, I figured, I figured. (laughs) Me too. Yeah, all right. We got a a bit of time before dinner, but I feel like, you know, um, early is a shine of good character with fancy people, yeah? Phil, you would know this. Or Angela, maybe you do. You glow a bit. You look fancy. (laughs) Are you fancy? What was the question again? Are you, like, should we show up early? Should we fashionably late? Uh... You know, I think, you know, because things are on the conspiratorial side, I think it's all about being really precise, you know, so I think we got to get there exactly on time. <laughs> I forgot we're going there to uh, talk. Where, where are you guys going? Tactics. We are guests at a very... I thought um, these were for the festival. Oh, they yeah, do. Yeah, but we have dinner plans. Sort of like oh, dinner plans right. Dinner. Okay. Well, well you guys better get on. We're going to we're gonna go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get out of here. We'll get out of here. Thank you so Yeah, thank you, guys. Come, Come back. Oh, and right. then you guys leave. You and sh- they go that. home. They leave. Say hi to uh, Lorna for me. They're, they're both there. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Goodbye, they Lorna. walk away like Lorna puts her arm around Lottie and they just walk home. Like, that's weird. That's suspicious. That's Are weird. they, you know? Are they, you know? She's a werewolf! I love it. Are they? No, she's not. <laughs> yeah. Was it, uh, whether, no, she just got attacked by one when she was young. Anyway, where are we going? I got about an hour before yeah. the sun goes down. Right. We'll say you have about oh. a half an hour because you changed and all that. Is so about, about um, a half hour. Should we? We didn't, you know, in all that talking, do we ever really figure out like what our intentions for this dinner are? <laughs> Because she said you know I run arena, but she wants us to, you know what, to you know who. My intentions are to have Our intentions are to find out what we need to do to gain her help in finding Irina. I think they're both right. I, I mean, first and foremost, we're going to go have dinner, but which is exciting. That's that's really cool. Yeah. But I think information is a bit of the undercover, from what I am. Yeah, um... How comfortable are we with, because uh, she very much wants us to declare allegiance to her. And we've got a what? lot of threads. Yeah, she definitely said, like, you should come work for me to, like, you know what to you know who. Totally, well, didn't, totally didn't hear her say that, nor did I get that vibe. Her. She specifically said, do you want to kill a person with me? That's I pretty much lying I... myself with her. Did she? Yes, I wrote in my notes, kill this person with her. She specifically asked us to, very outright. She, she kind of said that, yeah. Very much outright said that, in basically those exact words. Well, you know, the thing about... Uh, oh, right, better hope to dinner. Hmm. You know, the thing about her, about about the lady, uh, Walker, is uh, she seemed to have money, and that's fine and all, and I haven't heard anything bad about her yet. Um, but I've been in this town for... Only a couple days, and I've heard everything awful about the, uh, what's it called again? Burgermaster. Burgermaster. About the Burgermaster. I I really think the Burgermaster is against the people. I think he has a very dark heart, and I think maybe him being extinguished would be doing good for these people. Yeah, but I don't think we're doing him off. I think we're doing his dog off, aka the commander. I believe the proposed was to kill Isaac. I say very quietly to you guys. Um, she specifically called. Do, wanted do to kill re- the commander of the guard. Do you reckon Walker's a coward? I mean, she seems to have this intent to, you know, she's very much against the Burgermaster, and yet she seems to be paddling around only wanting to kill this dog. She seems a bit half-hearted, in my opinion. Diedrich, I I say this to you, and I mean it in the nicest, least judgmental way possible. Are you someone who in the past were hired to do jobs like this based on other people? On other people's behalf? Or were you always sort of a solo act? 
D. Yeah. But you haven't done any goes, it's, uh, mercenary work. Because I haven't, particularly. I take what I can get. A bit, a bit of both. So if you've done it before, what do you think of Angelo's question? Are the people who typically hire others, such as ourselves, to do that just too afraid to do it themselves? Just want somebody else in the crosshairs, or what? Yes. Got it. We are cowards who cannot do their own work. But it just seems strange because you're right, but like, why would she just hire us to kill the dog? You know, I mean, she has a lot of money, and it seems like by now if she really wanted to screw him over, she would have forked over the dough needed. I, I'm, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to think of her, but I hope we learn at this dinner. I think that'll answer a lot of questions. In the, in the absolute best way possible, when you just said, I don't know what to think of her, you sounded exactly like Kermit the Frog. Did nobody else hear it? No, I don't know what to think of her. I don't know what to think of her. <laughs> she seems kind of weird. <laughs> I think we should kill this bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gone. Um, Alright. So, nothing. general vibes is just a hero act. Maybe not make any uh, exact answers tonight about whether or not we will be killing somebody else. Because that's a pretty high profile uh, mark for people who have many other fucking... You've got a lot of other shit to do. Well, think about it this way. What if we try and position things so that we have the upper hand? Well, when I say that, I mean, she has to buy us. She needs to convince us not only that she can afford our work, but also that this work is worth our time. We need to have good reason to either kill this dog or this person or anything like that. We need to be extremely confident that this soul truly is a dark one that is against the people. And she clearly believes that from the bottom of her heart. Can she convince us? I think that's going to be the real question. Yeah. Well, I guess we uh, go knock. It's about that time. Yep. Might as well walk there, I guess. Yeah. You, we, we all look great, by the way. We all look very good. Imran, I like Sorry. this. I like this coat. The the scales for my shoulder pads fit out the top better than the other one. Right, right. Very yeah, cool. Tape against you as much. Um, as we're walking over to the house, uh, Angelo's gonna kind of walk in stride, um, trying to, not, not like get away from the group or anything, but kind of like, you know, go side by side with Fiel for a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna, hey, Fiel, I, I thought that was a game, I was like, oh, no, that was, me that was me, like, I thought I had to sneeze, up. I did <laughs> Fiel, uh, do you have a, a minute? I mean, I guess we're walking there, so like you kind of do, but maybe you don't. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, "I don't want to, I don't want to bother." No, we're done. Of course. Uh, you know, I it doesn't really seem like this group has you know leaders or anything like that. Um, but you do seem to have a commanding soul, if if that makes sense. And um, uh, you and everyone else here have really made this like a home for me. Uh, and I appreciate that, the, the lot of you. You've really taken me a quick. Um, uh, I'll, I'll cut to the chase a bit. Um, you seem to have this kind of like a like a panache for for culture and uh, other other people, but also like a really strong grasp on your own. Um, so I wanted to give you a bit of something of mine as like a token of you know good good intent. And um, uh, Angelo pulls out of this bag like this really intricate like glass vial. It looks like it would, like, like from a distance, it looks kind of like just like a normal, like, glass flask. Um, but up close, it's got this kind of, like, twirling design on the inside with, like, some swirls, almost like it's, um, not paisley, but like that other Victorian-looking pattern. Uh, this is from, uh, my, my home city, um, Elden Luna. It's Elden Village. And it, uh, this was made by the glass blower back home. Uh, I, I have a few of these with me, and it's it's got some some holy water. I actually just blessed it earlier today, and I I thought you ought to have it as a as a gesture. It is beautiful. I 
I will cherish this. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Oh, and if you, if you flip, if you flip the, uh, the, the, the bottle over and the little label there, uh, the Elvish there, if you don't speak Elvish, it's the, it's the name of the city back, back home. I, I hope you like it. Thank you. You're, you're, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you like to do? Do you like food? What kind of food do you like? <laughs> Um, I like I like gym cuisine to be honest, but it's been quite some time. Um, um, that sounds spicy. I don't know what that is. It, it, it actually can be. Um, no, but it's uh, uh, Jin is where I'm from. My tribe are the the Jin Yotun, um, and it's a beautiful place. It really is. It's a bit of a a bit of political turmoil and, you know, uh, the, 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 the strange conspiracy of giants and gods and those that surround. But other than that, there's a lovely place to live. Um, it sounds lovely. Yeah. Funny, yeah. I've, I went to, I've walked a long way and it seems like uh, political poisons are all across the world. And not never too different from place to place, but always a little unique too seen many cultures, and it seems an odd and sickening constant. Uh, unfortunately. Okay. You guys going to dinner now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, <coughs> you approach, excuse me, and the sun is setting. Let me get you guys back on the Walker House page. The sun is just beginning to set, so that uh, what would be golden light is just a muted color coming through the mist. You could tell that it's uh that the sun is setting, but not a lot going on. Um, the slot in the door like opens. You see the the eyes of the same maid you saw before, and before you say anything, she shuts it back and the door opens, welcoming you inside. Uh, here to food for dinner. Yes, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um. What? <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to reveal areas. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you walk in the way, the same way you did before, but instead of going up the stairs, you go... Uh, to your left, into a dining room, and you see this ornate dining table that stretches the whole length of the room, uh, and a crystal chandelier is hanging above it. Uh, the silverware is kind of tarnished, the dishes are kind of chipped, but it's all still pretty elegant. Uh, there's eight chairs, their backs are adorned with sculpted elk horns, and they surround the table. Arched windows made out of latticework of iron and glass look out onto this small, fog-swept estate. It's now beginning to be nighttime. Let me get Fiona's piece from the library. Where is she? Where is she? Uh, Fiona sits at the head of the table. She is seated. Did I just move a cat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Danger. <laughs> no, it's not a little bit... Uh, Fiona sits at the head of the table. When you enter, she stands. Wow, that's nice. Um, and before you sits, um, like, it seems to be an appetizer, but it's just, like, meat platters. No greens, no fruits, just, like, small things of meat, maybe some chicken legs, some, some wings, all kind of poorly cooked, but it seems like she's trying to be elegant. Mm -hmm. Um, and she stands, oh my god, when I click on her, can you guys see, you couldn't see, like, her HP or any of that? Uh, okay. No. Was, I just didn't realize I had it up, and I was like, oops. <laughs> um, I forgot I could see that. She stands, and her chair, like, across the floor, the, the old warped wooden floor, and she goes, welcome. Thank you for coming to my dinner. You all look very, uh, dressed. As do you. <laughs> she's wearing the same uh, nice, like, red dress, but she's wearing, like, an ornate, like, shoulder and chest piece. She's kind of made out of 
Like, it looks like a gold, but it's, it seems like a fake. Oh. My sons will not be I joining me really tonight, so you may well. sit where you like. Like armor almost? Um, <sighs> it looks less like armor and more just like ceremonial. But it okay. sits like on her shoulders and like points down her chest and like is up in a collar, but it's not like any protection. Okay. We may sit and enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. She, she sits. All right. Is this where you guys are seated? Sure. Sure. Yes. I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, behind you, you can see in the parlor, it's kind of connected in the same room. You see three elegant couches that surround an oval table made of black glass. Um, all are set in front of this blazing hearth, above which hangs a portrait of a smirking nobleman. He's got a broken nose and a tangle, hair, tangle of hair graying at the temples. And you see s several smaller portraits hanging on the north wall, but it's a little too far away to kind of see, make out what they're doing. But there is a roaring fire in the fireplace, and the chandelier is lit. So. Awesome. Yeah. I eat a lot of meat. Perfect. Uh, as soon as one plate is emptied, another maid or maid servant brings out another. Different meat every time, you would assume. Different parts of an animal. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I eat a respectable amount, like just one plate of meat, and then when the maid bring, tries to bring more, I'm just like, I'm good. <laughs> These seem to be like the appetizer. They're small little oh, sure. finger yeah, foods. Sure. Is she eating as well? Um, she's got a plate, but she just kind of sits and watches you guys build your plates. Yeah, I'm gonna so, Ms. Walter, are you from Barovia? The I am. Area with the city. Uh, the country? Yes. Yes, I was born here, raised here. Your, your family? Very long line, the Walter family. Yes. Are mm -hmm. these theirs? Now I'll just give the portraits. Yes. Um, you see the portrait above the mantle. Um, God, you guys haven't Excuse met me. the sons yet, right? No. Okay. Um, she kind of points, and she points to the big one on the mantle. She goes, this was my husband, late husband. He passed uh, due to illness. Um, the ones on the wall are my children and uh, my ancestors, yes. All under the walk their name. Yes. It's a beautiful portrait. Thank you. Family great service. Hmm? So there's a beautiful portraiture. Does your family great service? Thank you. Yes. Have you always, um, has your family always uh, been held in such high esteem in the city? Has there been something? The Walter family has a long line of power in the city of Valaki. Uh, long ago, a few generations ago, uh, the Valakovich family um, took over because there were no male heirs to the Walters. And we lost our... Oh my god. Careful of the cats, I'm sorry, I said they would be out of here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no cats. <laughs> uh, so, a few generations ago, the Valaki, uh, Valakoviches took power, power from my family. And uh, we have yet to regain our foothold in the town. Well, that just doesn't seem right. Not at all. Did you guys have a bit about festivals too, or was that all him? No, that that came from Vargas's father. Uh, Vargas is the current one. Vargas Volokovich, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, his father, he did a lot of the same festivals. He was much more of a tyrant than Vargas was. Possibly why Vargas is such a little rat of an individual. Uh, I cannot say for certain whether Vargas treated, or sorry, rather Vargas's father treated Vargas right, but I know he didn't treat Vargas's mother right. Um, and then mysteriously, Vargas's father passed away, giving the line of burgomaster to Vargas, and the festivals amped up, amped up once per week rather than once every once in a while. Um, but. If the burgomaster thinks they're keeping Strahd away, I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't think that. I just don't. I think they're a bunch of bullshit. Right, but you have no um, particular goal or aim to keep Strahd away. 
Like I said, he is nothing more than a, uh, perhaps, distracted landlord. He has not done any harm to our town inherently. Sure, he could lead a little bit better, but I think our town deserves a better leader in general, which I would love to be. I would like to take my uh, family's name back as Burgomaster and get the Volokovichs the hell out of here. So what's standing in your way? Isaac. Hmm. Okay, let me ask it again. Why is Isaac... Isaac is a powerful more... individual. Powerful, More powerful than you? I've grown old. As you can see, I'm probably not in my prime anymore. Well, sure, but you don't have I'm to... not much of a fighter. Right, but not were you through, ever? Not, well, not, not, put, in not particularly... Sense. Sure. Not particularly in, uh, like, brute strength like Isaac, but I am a little bit, um, let's say, politically charged. Right, so... so I wouldn't guess. If I that. ever tried to overstep the Burgomaster, Isaac would have my head. Oh. I do what I can. I try to infiltrate from the inside. It didn't work out. Right. I will not be trying again if you are here. So you are scared then? I'm not scared. I just know I will die. I am not powerful enough to kill Isaac. I am old. I am not very strong. I, if you handled Isaac, I could handle the rest of the Velakovich family. And I could take power of the city. All I need is someone to take out Isaac. Right. And you have stumbled right into my view of interest. And so I'm wondering, while you're here at my dinner in my home, if that is something you are also in interested in. Well, how did uh, we, we try and go by some systems. How did you try to go from the inside? What was your path there? Well, before I talk about that, it seems you already have Isaac on your bad side. You claim he has been involved with this woman you are missing. Just kill him, and then They'll you will get your we woman back. We don't actually know that at all. It is the man of oh. the I thought that was delicious, but I just cast detect thoughts. Okay. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and uh, so so initially without without probing any further than just the initial casting of the spell, but I can push it further if I want to. So you initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature, what is most on, on. its mind at the moment. Um, as an action, you can either shift your attention to another creature, um, another creature's thoughts, or attempt to probe deeper. But I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay. So are they aware? They're not yet. Yeah, do I have to roll a save? Nope. There is just the surface level thoughts of like what's going at the like the top of their mind right now. It's basically a double check is do I think she's being like upfront or is at the th surface of her mind being like these people are idiots and they're going to get themselves killed but maybe I can alone benefit from this or is she really thinking that we can help her? Like that that kind of thing. Gotcha. Give me There's one second. There is not. Wow. I would have to unless she's trying to explicitly hide something in which case I would have to probe deeper. Hmm. If I try to probe deeper, that is that involves some saving throws. Okay, give give me one second. I think I'm aware it is a probe deeper. Mm -hmm. if I remember. Mm -hmm. That is true. Notably, this is not even me casting a spell. This is me using my natural talent as a gift mm -hmm. to 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 detect thoughts psionically. So oh, that's cool. That is cool. That's cool. You fucking yellow okay. bastard. So I don't, I, I, according, oh. to the, according to the text, I don't even need components to do this. Okay, so so you, you probe her. Um, the thoughts that you get are... She seems to be distracted that dinner... Like, the main course hasn't come yet. Okay. She... She wants the main course to come. She is... Hiding a lot of stuff, you'd have to probe deeper, sure. but she is trying to figure, maybe figure you guys out and see if you're worthy enough to take on Isaac. Got you. Um, I don't want to probe deeper, because that, that whether whether my probe succeeds or fails, she knows I'm trying to, to someone's trying to fuck with her mind at, the, at that moment. Sure. Uh, but what I do want to do, and I'm going to kind of zone out of the conversation to do this, is to probe around the rest of the room, because within 30 feet of me, I can detect sentient thoughts in, in like in the room. Okay. So you're gonna are, do it to all of us? Yeah, are you I'm doing it? I'm gonna do it to, it to the like if there's an invisible okay. creature, if there's a cat I see, if there's like if I can everyone, detect everyone quick, what are you So yeah, thoughts? so everyone in the party go ahead, your initial thoughts, what's going on. Well that's you don't need to, it's fine. RP aside, <laughs> you all are thinking you you detect it's thirty feet in general or thirty feet 
It is 30 feet from me uh, on a radial. 30 feet from me in a radius, I think. Let me double check that. So, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dedrick's thought right now is <clears throat> how can I get paid from this? Merrick's thoughts are I don't have to be able to see them, it's just within 30 feet of Okay, you. okay. Are you on the map? Uh, yes, I'm on okay. the table. Okay, see the fireplace? Yeah. Okay, right behind that, you you detect some thoughts. Um, oh, fuck, oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, shit. The dinner is so late, I have to make dinner quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, right here, mm -hmm. you detect some, like, ah, fuck, I can't hear them. What's going on? And then right on, how do I do this? Right next to Walker, we'll say. You just hear boring, 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 boring. Oh my god, this is so boring. Boring, 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 boring. Well, that's cool. That's very interesting. Uh, and then maybe. <laughs> Does it sound like a sentient? Cat wait, like, wait, wait. Just okay, wait. Well, Does it? Is it? Is it like up to? It was supposed to. So. Okay, okay, radius. okay, sure. okay. Mm. Uh, let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Well, wait, there's an upstairs. Oh, no. Well, there's an upstairs. She has two sons. Okay, you do. Oh my god, how do I do this? Uh, oh, can you see right the upper floor? Box. Look at the upper floor. Oh shit! Yeah. So right above you guys, like right here. Yeah. <laughs> you you hear? Oh shit! Kitty wants to play. Meow, meow. Kitty wants to play. Meow. I don't know if that was creepy on purpose, but that was You hear? Out. Uh, nope, not there. Wow, Kane did not expect to hear this many voices in his head. This and then. <laughs> Oh my god. What languages do you speak? Uh, uh, a few, but not a lot of... Uh, the fancy ones are like Draconic and Primordial. So, you hear... One, two, three, four, five... Below you, like directly below you, you hear like... Communal chanting in a language you don't understand. <laughs> Wait, 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 what language is though? Did you not explain I know. I like Gith, Druidic, Draconic, and Primordial. Nope. So yeah, I wouldn't think so. Book club, baby! Book club, baby. That's cool. So. <laughs> um, can I make, as I'm paying attention, um, can I, and maybe you said this and I apologize if I missed it. Can I do like an message to, to like really try and focus, or perception, whatever you want to call it, and like really try to focus, see if any of these, uh... Uh, do you paint? I don't know if they're paintings, but the the, the, port the portraits. portraits we saw yeah. were any of any little girls or like not the little girls. Yeah, I would say with your passive daughter. perception, when you guys were walking in, there is one. Uh, they all like pretty strikingly look like uh, Fiona. Yeah. Like they seem to be like have her features. There are a couple that though the clothing looks older and the portraits are maybe like more sepia toned. Mm -hmm. They seem to look identical to some of these, which is just a little weird. It's like, oh, her grandma, like, looked exactly like her. Like, that's weird. Uh, and then, yeah, one of, like, a young girl. Uh -huh. it looks Maybe, like, like Fiona-ish, like, related. Kind of, yeah. Okay. And then two portraits of uh, other people. Like, kind of, like, branches yeah. off in, like, what you would assume to be a tree. So then two portraits of boys and then a girl yeah. under under Fiona. And then the same guy you see above the fireplace, which is Nikolai. Mm -hmm. So you would assume these to be their children. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, that's easy enough to see. This dinner is delicious, but uh, is this uh, is this what we can expect as compensation for killing these men? Absolutely not. I have money and I have information. I am not one to not give that to you, but you have to uh, make a deal with me and make it uh, a finished deal. I appreciate that. Well, Absolutely. Well, would you please give us the information first, and uh, and it's going to cast some cast. Oh no! What do I what do I do? Wisdom save sixteen. Oh fuck! Paul first. This could go poorly, but I'm going for it. Yeah, we don't know about anything else. Fuck it. What's my save? Sixteen. If it beats its meats. It does beats its meats. What happens? Does she know? Thanks. I don't know. The suggestion uh, if it fails. No. Say maybe. 
don't even know if they know. Do they know? I'll uh, I'll send a screenshot real quick of the egg. So I think this is it. enough. For... Well, we're almost done. We've got yeah, work. We yeah. Go. We've got uh, we suggest a course of activity. A magically influenced creature with an array. There you go. The target makes a wisdom saving throw. They suggest a course of action. Blah, blah, blah. No, doesn't say anything about they are aware. Um. Takes verbal components, so unless she were to recognize the, 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 the spell, which in many cases could just be him going, I suggest you do this. Like, yeah. like it, it, it's a pretty subtle spell. She wasted a second level spell slot, but. Yeah, she kind of waves her hand and <laughs> says. Slot, they're all maxed out. That's true. Um. She, she just kind of looks at you, Angelo, and, and she just says, Quiet, and casts command on you. Ooh. Hmm. Do I have to throw a save for that, or do I just deal with it? No, like, you, I think you save. Yeah, uh... Sorry, I didn't have it pulled up. It's a wisdom saving throw, or follow the command. This, what'd you say the saving throw was? Uh... It is... What did I say? Wisdom? Mm -hmm. Wisdom? Okay. Uh, that might make it. Probably not, though. Um, wisdom save. That's going to be a composite 16. Okay, yeah. You, 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 you succeeded. It was 15. Awesome. Um, She'll still be quiet, but... <laughs> I can give you information. I can give you gold. But I need to know a little bit that we are going forward with this. Forward with this. Well, well, Gal, you usually you have a plan in mind. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point because we do need like our biggest. We might be able to take him out alone. Yeah. But the biggest problem is the militia, right? If you can, if you can, if we can, if you can get us in a room with just him, and no one can find out. Well, if you can facilitate this. We can take care of the problem. He's speaking a little bluntly, but if we can find out a way together to uh, get him a little more isolated than he maybe usually is, that would do wonders. Um, and if, before we even do any of that, like, what do we really gain from, like, we don't really inherently have any information on this guy that really leads to a death sentence. Not that, I mean, I, I just met you because we came to the house. He kills the people the Burgomaster wants him to kill. If you speak ill of the festival, he takes you up to his home. There is a room next to the library. They torture you and they kill you. Can I do an insect check? Yeah. Oh, room next to the library. Do you know what he does with the dolls? No. Could there possibly like be Seems pretty truthful. any 17. women there? Seems very truthful. Women? Yeah. In the torture room? He's not a. Just going against men. But if you're talking about your girl, I know he commissions that Blinsky to make a weird dolls of a specific woman. He's been doing that since he was a child. Yeah. With one weird. Woman? Yes. Seems seems to be same descript so, description. Never gives a name. We have the same woman every time. Same description, no name given. So that's what I would assume. Do you know what he does with these? He takes them to his room. And he gets very drunk, and that's all I know. His room is also in the Burgomaster's mansion. Right. Do you know where? Right across from the library. Good to know. Ooh, right there. I've given you enough information. What can you give me? Are you going to kill him? Well, I would say that depends on if we can trust you. I wanna, I wanna try and make eye contact with Merit and just kind of, without saying anything. Gesturally, do we tell her? At this point, uh, five maids come out with like arms full of dishes and and like platters and stuff, and they lay them all in front of you. And as they take the the lids off, it's all like five different wolf heads that have been like steamed, and they've got big fat apples in their mouths. And then, <laughs> uh, like nicely plated around the wolf heads are like actually really beautiful, like wolf steaks and, and potatoes and mushrooms and onions and 
vegetables and fruits. I don't know what the fuck she gave me for an appetizer, but this is the big deal. I look up at one of the maids and I say, wow, this was prepared so quickly. I, that's amazing. Thank you. We've been preparing all night. Oh, well. Still. <laughs> they all go off. Um, well, listen. I don't know that we're ready to make a decision tonight. But I think either way, it, it wouldn't happen tomorrow. With the festival, there's going to be so much attention on Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. I think it would be very funny if you killed him tonight and then I took over during the festival. I think it would be the funniest thing ever to happen to the Burgomaster. I think yeah. he really deserves it. What do you think about that? No. Either tonight. Like tonight. Are you going to kill him? No, either tonight's not a good night. Oh. Sorry. I thought you uh, were worried about this girl or something. And no, I'm very I'm worried. About this How long has she been gone? 48 hours? Usually they take her to a secondary location at that point. Don't you think? The very unlikely her, very for her getting her back. But also no one can leave this, like, country, so at least we know she's still in the country. That you know Do you know of? a way to get us into the Burgermaster's house? Well, I have an idea about that. I'm all But we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> oh, why? Well, I think if there's gonna be there's gonna be five million people at the mansion tonight, isn't there? Preparing for this festival? Is there? You ask her? Yeah. From what I have heard from my aide, they are in mourning. They have kept everyone com from coming to the f mansion for the festival, and all preparations will be made at the main square in the stockyards. Oh. Do you know why they are mourning? Yes. Do you? What is that? She says, do you? Who's asking? We all know what, what. You're in my house. That's his catchphrase. We, okay. We, we know nothing. Just assume we know nothing. I assume you know more than that, but go on. You first. Why are they more? I gave you information. I would like to know if you are interested in this. Of course we're interested. We're still talking to you. We came to dinner. We bought clothes. <laughs> you do look very really nice, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, All I right. think... I, wait, focus. We... It, it, okay. Uh, we've never been to one of these festivals, but I figured a large part of it happened in the mansion. You're saying it's not happening in the mansion. It's happening in the town square. Meaning there's going to be basically no one at the mansion. Yeah, tonight. The family will be there. Tomorrow, during the festival. The, they don't leave their house during these festivals? Well, they usually do, but in morning, I don't. I honestly don't know what to expect tomorrow for the festival. She, she is, as you guys are talking, well, like, starting to like, kind of looks like she's ritually casting something on her plate of food. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't eaten a thing yet. That's fine. I say, but, but she, um, sorry. Just does like a little flourish <laughs> and like a little wave of. I can see, like, gold light just kind of scans over her food. And then she begins to, like, take really tiny bites. That was cool. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, um, so you think, in your professional opinion, which I'm holding in very high stock here, um, that if we were trying to get the get Isaac alone, get the most information out of him, which is our goal, mind you, and then maybe in repayment for all of that, assassinate the fucker, because, I mean, why the fuck not at this point? He's evil. Yeah, right? Um, it would be tonight in his room. I just think it would be funny. Where we might find him intoxicated. <laughs> yes. Alone. Yes. With not a lot of people in the mansion. Because the, the burgomaster's burger room is a little further away. Yes, I don't know. Is, he, like, is there some kind of information you can give us on the fortifications of this place? It seems to me that you're becoming impatient, and I think recklessness would actually backfire on impatient. all of us, possibly I'm, yourself included. I'm not being impatient. I feel like I have a very great opportunity here, and I do not want to waste it. If you really want help getting into the mansion, I need to know if that is your plan for the evening. I think tonight might be a bit hasty, Lebs. I mean, might we speak alone? Just you may. You may leave my dining room. Thank you. I will stand up and walk out. Oh, okay. Wait, the two of you or the all of there's us? There's a maid standing yeah, at all the of the doors. Oh, I thought you meant like you and her. And there's the maid standing at the door that you guys came through, like motions for you to enter the foyer, which hold is on, right in front on. of the door. Gail, hold on. As he stands up, say hold on. Hold on. Before we go off and, and speak alone, real quick, I, like, you think tonight might be a bit hasty, but if tonight is like our best opportunity, like, what are we putting off? What are we waiting for? Now, I, 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 like, I understand not wanting to just like jump head first into things, but we wouldn't want to jump head first into things because we would want to plan something out. And if we think we have time to plan it, I, I don't even. It's not even honestly for me about planning. It's what are what. 
with what intention other than this individual's word do we have that I'm taking on her accent. Sorry. Word that she is going to like that this guy is everything she says he is. She very plainly told us her intentions of why she, her she wants us to do this, and that's fine and all. We're just taking this person at their word that like go kill this guy for me because I want to be in power. Fine, I'll, I'll, I was going to wait until the four had a say it, but honestly, I don't want to remove one tyrant to seat another. Yeah, um, that's the vibe I'm getting, but you want to say it. Are down. you sitting on my table? Still? Uh, so, yeah, I'll okay. sit back down and just say that. I'm not a tyrant. I wouldn't be, I would not have any more any more of these stupid festivals. I would run the town like it needs to be run. That is all. Go ask the Baron of Morgan. We have say already say connected Isaac to. Irina. Yeah, that's my thought. My real interest is getting it I is getting it Isaac. Isaac, whatever. And that's fine, but I just want as long as we know that that's My only thing is he's not gonna say shit to us about Irina if he's not alone. Well, I agree. Or maybe at all. You're giving him a lot of like the benefit of the doubt. He's an evil dude. He may not admit to anything. He may just try and fucking kill you. He's killed a lot of people. He uses force and power to get what he wants. His master is the Burgomaster. He will always do what the Burgomaster says, no matter what. Fear is a powerful weapon to him. Just think of the last time we made rushing decisions. Right. Without intentions. Mm -hmm. And, um... You may wait. To prevent the future. You may wait. Your friend may be dead. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'd like to... Do I believe her? That she doesn't know. If she's dead Make enough. an insight check. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, that's going to be 17. The death of the kid? You watch your roll. I rolled a 17. Well, I, she doesn't. She... She doesn't know. The Doesn't necessarily seem like she's she lying, but she seems very asked, Why are they guarded. You know? And she said, I do know, do you? Yeah, because Daedric asked out of the blue. She didn't out of the blue. Well, he, okay, it's, and I would have been suspicious, because he said, do you know why they're mourning? <laughs> After saying, they're morning. In her position, I would have been suspicious. While you guys are discussing, <laughs> she reaches down and pulls up a very small chest. And she opens it. It's full of platinum. Full of what? Platinum! Platinum. That's, she shuts it. That's cool. Puts it back down. I can give this to you tonight and give you the rest after the deed is done. I want it done as soon as possible. If it lasts more than 48 hours, and you are where that's it. I come and I get my money back. I also have more inf more information, but a few of you seem like you want gold more than that. So, here is the gold. Uh, I'd, I'd really like to know what kind of information. Is, what? It about the is it about the count? Is it about... What do you want to know? Do you want to know about the count? Do you want to know about... Uh, Isaac anymore? Do you want to know about the Burgomaster? I don't know. I'm I mean, very I smart. I really just want to know where Irina is, so... Um, we, if I, I had mean, to make a guess, I would guess that Isaac has her. Are we making this that decision in front of her, or do we want to have a foyer talk? What are we hiding? <laughs> okay, it, fine, great. Um, I mean, if there's something if we're, we're hiding, this, then tell me. And we'll do we want to do it while what? tied to someone else? I think she's got ears everywhere, so... Fine. It, uh, if we decide to do this... How we'll long do was it? that? Was that a... A minute. Okay. Nothing changed. Yeah. It's like, well, if it's an hour... <laughs> if we decide to do this, do we feel better doing it because it's something... If we're going after our own mission, looking for our arena. Or are we doing it because someone's paying us to do it? Because those are two different things. No, my, my main concern here is just trying to find Irina. Yeah, if mine we get, as well. If we get some money out of it, great. If we can stop this dude from... Taking more people off the street, also great. But we got. Alright, I think that settles it then. Danica? Do you, Danica just yes or no Danica. question. Do you know more information about Irina? These guys are impossible to read. I don't know how you look. I, I, I had to pick it up. I was like, fuck, I can't see that. I do. Do I believe her? <laughs> 
Make an insight check. <laughs> I, 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 can I also do that? Oh, that's balls. Uh, okay. no, well, hold on. I'm using my, my fucking inspiration for that one. That's substantially better. That's a composite. Ooh, I got a composite 21. 24, natural 20. Kyle rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Big brain. As soon as she says big, that, the room kind of falls silent. The creakings of the house kind of still a little bit. The clutter from the kitchen kind of uh, kind of ends. Um, everybody kind of stops eating. And she's looking at you all very intensely. And she is 100% telling the truth to you. Yes, yeah, she knows more about it. But my intention is to confront Isaac. If that confrontation leads to his death, I'll send Daedric back for the money. Any more inf information for you? If yeah. I commit to this task right now, and we commit to killing this man tonight, will you give us this information on Irina before we leave to this building? Yes. I'm in. That's one. Oh, Daedric's in. I'll follow Dwarfy to the end of the earth. <laughs> That's goof. Anyway, here, but here's the thing. If I can, give us an aside, just a moment. She's staring you, you at you. You keep talking awful. like like this. This lady here is the only lady who is, you know, we're going on her word alone that this guy is what he says that he, he is. But Danica and Ivan and the blacksmith. Irwin. Guy, or, sorry, Danica and Irwin and uh, I named the blacksmith guy as well. Pearsome and the priest and Blitzky. All of these people, good standing or otherwise, have said the exact same shit about this guy. So, she's only corroborating it, and honestly, probably a more reliable source than most of them, with this exception of Danica, because I hold her above all else. No offense. Yeah, uh, not, not all yeah, of this is fair. like, are we getting the wrong guy? Uh, if it's for Irina, fuck him. But, I mean, it's also... Can't say a lot of the shit I want to say right now, but... There's a lot of We're maybe devil. <laughs> there's a lot of. I don't want to make the exact same mistakes we just made with less. What kind of information do you want? How do we the fuck get in and get out of this place? Let's start there. Can't okay. walk in, and we can't walk out. Okay, I can give that to you. I see you have a nice little dragon em embroidered on the back of your dress. Do you want to know about dragons? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yes, I always want to know about dragons. Okay, I need five yeses before I give any more information. I'm in for the chaos, man. Ah. This is good. Something good's gonna come out of this, I can feel it. Yeah, it's, gonna, yeah. it's gonna be a fucking wildfire till then. What do you want to know? <laughs> Giant. Alright. You got a yes from me as well. Three. Commit to it. Yes. Actually, he might pop off at some point. I just have a feeling about I it. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Giant, yes, no, information, money. You have money. Oh, take the money. I'm in for the money. I have money. All right. None of us were going for it. <laughs> so we're we're sh hmm? Diedrich said that? What am I wearing? Diedrich's on the Diedrich wants to know about Irina. You want to know about dragons. I don't know what it is that you have to tell me, so unless you give me the, the teaser of some information that interests me more than your box full of platinum, then I guess I'm in it for the money, but I'm really in it for the chaos. You're in. <laughs> Giant. I'll abstain from the order. Uh, uh, everyone else said yes. That means he's in. He just doesn't want to say he Your abstention from the order is noted. I need five yeses, please. We've circled back through. <laughs> Angelo, did you say? Also, Angelo said he was also, in. Also, if we he don't do it, what's she gonna fucking do? He didn't give a reason. She always said she think... can't kill one guy. She's not gonna kill all of this, is she? I cannot kill you. You could easily kill me right now. Uh, I don't want to do that. I just also am yeah, saying, if, you, if you, we say, yeah, we'll do that, and then 48 hours, all that happens is we just didn't do it. True. We won't spend any of the money. We might spend the money, but we'll figure it out. You're not gonna take the money from home? Giant? Mm -hmm. She showed the box of platinum and said, I'll give it to you tonight, so we might as well. Giant. Who knows? How much money is it? Uh, 100 platinum. 100 platinum? So yes. that's a thousand oh, gold It's a pieces? couple glass swords. For now. That. <laughs> so we could buy a glass sword tonight before... Well, no, he's probably asleep. Hopefully. But we could maybe go wake him up. 
For, for money, you could probably money? wait with your salon. And it's only sundown. We've only been yeah. here like an hour. He yeah. might be open. It's not that late. He works. He lives in that shore. Right, but we got a lot to do oh, tonight. Does he? Giant! Uh, 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 while this whole thing was going on, Fjell's just kind of like drifted his head off and was staring off at the portraitures off to the side. And when it comes back, he's just like, your family, where did you say they got their fortune? <laughs> That's when she would sensibly say, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> was it legal work? Does it matter? It does. Then yes. Damn. Then yes. And that's where we end your next session! God, I love this campaign! <laughs> Everything is spooky! Everything! Everything Ooh. stresses me out! Ooh. Kane is not leaving this building without making a crack at the invisible people standing around. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I don't care. <laughs> you don't care? That's I, the only thing you care about! What